G'day everybody and welcome back to Wrong Way Up. We have Tex, we have Wasted, we have DE, and we have a disconnected Capac, so we're gonna have to do some shenanigans to him. How are you guys this morning? Uh, I'm doing well. <laughs> Grumble, doing rubble, great. wasted. I'm doing fine. I'm Good. awake. Also, ah, <laughs> oh, mom, one more, three more, more hours. Minutes. Three more hours, that will I get? Yeah, please. I just realized I'm, I messed with the daytime to get a thumbnail. I don't know what how late at night it is. So we may be driving in the dark for a bit. I do. It's 17 minutes past midnight. Oh, that's that's like your 4 a.m. equivalent, isn't it? That's breakfast time. It's I, breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs> math. I, I, I don't know that I'm ready to do maths yet. <laughs> um. So, I believe wasted between last time and this time you did some uh, testing of some thoughts on how we can expand this thing to be able to build aircraft on it we so, actually going to call that testing I mostly just drove up and down hill <laughs> well we did test a, a capture system that seemed to work pretty well <laughs> true enough but yes hilariously I well, have actually some ideas, some thoughts on how we might be able to string her out. I have to admit, we never got to the point of actually landing anything on it. So, uh, me, yeah. I mean, that, that's that's did. always best done in survival, right? That's that yeah. kind of testing. <laughs> and then we get to find out whether you land on it or through it. Ah. Uh, so I like I like the idea of making the landing somewhat challenging. I I think that's going to happen either way. Especially yeah, with uh, some of the some of the latency with some of the people, I that's think uh, I'm going to crash a few planes. That is true. I uh, advise keeping the landing area far, far away from anything important. Yeah, that's actually a very good point. I'm just going to move the truck forward, D. Uh, and then uh, let me make sure the thing is up. It is up. It is up. Yep. Uh, but the, if you want to do another thing. plunge. Oh, the um, wait. Do we have elevator enough, oh, drill? The drill. The drill. Do we have the enough inventory elevator. space still? Also, have you guys got any ideas of what we should do to Capac? I mean, I do they have? Is there a discussing. sharpie mod? Can we see if we can get him to the other planet before us by means of catapult? I do like the idea of that. He is catapult. conveniently on a spot that we can grind off the blocks around him without affecting him. That. A good point. <laughs> I just wonder why it was so, you that was taking so much care over the cryopods. Now well, we know. you know, these things have to happen. <laughs> uh, piston's going down. Kill. Cool. Latency makes elevators kind of weird. Yeah, I bet. So are we Ooh, thinking like yes. a, uh, a launching arm? That's a good point. I did discover one other thing. Uh, we're probably going to need to get the hinge thing off the back. This thing? Is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. What's? Oh! Oh! Right. Yeah. yeah. The ramp. We discovered a few problems with the ramp. Fuel low. Bit clangy, is it? it it's, it's liable to make the thing dance. Yeah. Uh. Cool. I'm glad oh, that's and, been discovered early. And you can't run up it anyway. <laughs> Is it too steep? And, and, it, and it doesn't work as a ramp, so... <laughs> well, that seems like a good reason to get rid of it, then. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, we could try and we can try and catapult Capac with it before we get rid of it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm already working on that. I feel like we need oh, a... okay. Never mind, then. <laughs> uh, we, we need can a move big, forward uh... again if we want more ice. Bigger launch for him. So Thanks so much, guys, for the super chats before I even started. Most of the night remaining before light. Uh, should we get some more cargo and get more ice in the cargo? Well, since I we was not... messing around with the time, I'm just going to move it to the time it actually was. Which was about there, I think, just before first light. I toyed around with the light to get a nice shot of the two planets near each other. 
Um, right. Did it work? Uh, ish. Should we get a... Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. Uh, should we get a large cargo somewhere? And then that way we can we don't have to worry as much about cargo capacity? Or do you want it distributed in case of uh, kaboom? Hmm. We are, I'm, I'm gonna warn you, this thing is already really top heavy. Yeah. I don't know. If you can underneath. find a place to put a large cargo, cool. Um, I mean, uh, I can find one. I don't know if you're gonna like it. It would just be it, hanging it, down. If it's on the bottom as some sort of polyp, uh, I think it's going to be blown up quite easily. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In that case, we could do a cargo pod of several small cargo containers underneath, maybe? Down the center line between the two center wheels. It probably won't blow up then. Yeah. Just like in in the level of the floor, basically, not actually hanging down oh too no. much. Te Tex has shaved its eyebrow. Tex. Oh no. Sorry. I didn't realize <laughs> it was free floating there. <laughs> oh, that was another thing that came to mind as well. Um, we kind of need to be a little bit careful with these vehicles because um, them eyebrows generating downforce, or not, as the case may be. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, to the extent, and it's a good job CapEx not here at the moment, actually adding spoilers to it helps. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Ow, I just fell. Whoops, I was um, you okay. out of looking at chat. Uh, <laughs> how do I place an, a hinge part inside a hinge? I here, I'll, I'll send the elevator down for you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Dragnon. I don't think the eyebrows are too Thanks, bad. Thanks, Brent. It did dawn on me. That it's, it's possible Thanks, that we're putting eyebrows and on and the eyebrows be. start to generate lift and make the front end really light and weird. I mean, are we allowed to glide to the other planet? Uh, no. <laughs> try for Okay. Be my guest. Give that a try, D. <laughs> we're, we're not... When it, the, the large grid doesn't fly, but we're going to... Like, I mean, we may have to fudge the rules on that one, but I'd like to try not initially. Well, Doesn't if fly the... is a really good description of what that does. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to make sure it stays on the ground, we might not want to let Capac or, honestly, myself drive again. <laughs> Capac drive again or me drive at all. Can somebody... Because I have a bad habit of going airborne as well. Could somebody possibly throw me a hydrogen bottle? I'd lower the elevator for you and everything. Oh, right. Thank you. Is it hit the big red button? A, yeah, push the big red button. Yay, thank you. I figure one button, a one button press is much easier. I think I might put a timer block on it so that simultaneously turns on the drill or turns off the drill as well as extending the piston. Ah, uh, yeah, nice idea. <laughs> thanks, Cuttable Spark. <laughs> Offering to Clang. I'm feeling... So, I mean, and thanks, if, we want, if we want more cargo, we can do something down the middle underneath here along the center line or we can start on another segment i think those are our oh, options no. ow did, did, did you, could you fall send off? the drill down again please yeah <laughs> that's that's the wrong way up splitzy oops I was trying to figure out a place that I could put like a drill uh, button down there somewhere, but I think anywhere I put it is just going to get smacked off as we drive. Yeah, I mean, you could put them on the sides of the 3x3 three three suspensions, because they have attachment points on the side. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to put a button there. And we should be able to reach one of those from the ground. Especially... Uh, hmm. Yeah, especially if you put the button panel upside down. I'm going to try one way first. You do you. Oh, uh, there's actually a attachment point underneath as well. <laughs> so, there we go. Well, if, that, if it works, it works. We'll, we'll see. It might get exploded off, but, you know, science. Uh, now, I keep forgetting that I was meant to add the um, hydrogen tanks refill from... Like, you can refill your bottles from the things, but uh, I didn't. 
Okay, feel there's a button from the things. From the med bays and survival kits. You know there's um, a mod that lets you do that? Yeah. yeah it no, works you can, you can sometimes. Do that no. Oh, you mean throw the bottles in there? Um, yeah. Also, I used it for a cargo while. is so full I can't put my empty bottle back. <laughs> uh, I used the, that for a while, the one where you can uh, fill, and it only sort of works sometimes. It worked pretty consistently on um, Escape from Purgatory. Huh? Well, maybe it's You just have to be dedicated. super patient with it. But they might also, like be... may also have modded it themselves. Ah. Thanks so much, Yuval and Anubis. If we had runway, we now up. Uh, All right, runway so round, do you want maybe? me to start adding cargo to the, the center line then? Thanks, or do we Galvin. Want to add another segment. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, yeah. I mean, what do you think? Have, have we got enough? Adding segments is just a case of having enough plate, really, to do it. Having enough steel. Yeah. I mean, we can with with this drill, we can get a lot of stone and stuff. But I, so, okay, it sounds like we're going to need cargo first anyway. I kind of worked so. on the basis that it would be easier almost to reuse copies of this repeated than it would be to sort of try and build each one independently. Mm -hmm. I'll add uh, three small cargos for now at the bottom. Does that sound good, or do you want me to go farther than that? Uh, that should be alright for now. I see what Tex is up to now. Am I it's not going to work. this clang but... out if I connect these? Uh, possibly. They won't connect. They they, they, yeah, they won't connect because yeah, the not gonna hinge connect. part they're... and hinge will be con uh, occupying the same space, which can't, which isn't allowed. I was, I was honestly just gonna flip it over and merge the two merge. So yeah, the two merge yeah, blocks won't merge. won't let you. Because mm, you'd effectively be creating grid. a compound block of the hinge and hinge part. Well, that's unfortunate. Indeed. Uh, shall we? Get a an ore detector on this thing, because then we could at least go find some ice, uh, some iron, and I say go find some ice. <laughs> yeah, you know what I meant. Mister Splitsy, yeah, I found some. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's worth noting. Once upon a time, a long time ago, that did work with rotors because it was before hinges were put in. Yeah, and the rotor part didn't actually have any space occupying. Saw it, did it? Yes, it was. It was a weird, non-existent block. Somehow, yeah. it was. It was where you used to be able to put the rotor part out, and it just disappear into the floor because it didn't really exist. Yes, yes, I remember those times. <laughs> and were impossible to get rid of. Oh yeah, I remember that too. What didn't you have the similar problem getting rid of all of the piston parts when hashtag one more piston began? Yeah, pretty much. We just left them. <laughs> Well, I would empty my inventory, but every single car container is full of ice right now, so... I'm, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. <laughs> did someone prioritize steel tubes? I, I can do it, I can access it from here. Yeah, uh, if I could empty my inventory, I'd, I could do a lot of things. <laughs> Alright, fine, well, I'll just hook onto his block and then we can knead it off. I suppose you could you could go with the oh no he might be arriving. I mean he's in the wrong team speak. Cut chat, him off! Cut him off! And he's talking driving. to himself, but of course he is. <laughs> I saw his little um thing flash up as though he was talking. Oh no, he's not. Uh... There we go. Now he can move himself. Good morning, Mr. Amaru. Can I pack? Nope. Sounds like there ain't nothing good about this. Where's all my stuff? Okay, we have one new car container on the bottom. So far, Sweet. I gotta get some more energy. As I miss the rover has controls. There we go. Oh, there's iron right near us. Perfect. How so convenient. There's a, new... there's a new one where? Drill is up. I'm going to drive right over the top of it. 
think. Everybody be ready. It's gonna be too deep, isn't it? It is a bit deep, isn't it? Almost, almost max, well, max iron distance. Yeah. Alright, uh, I guess down we go. I didn't cut off the footpath around the rover. That was done by... Wasted? But there's another footpath through the rover that works. You just have to crouch. Well, no, you just walk over the top. Walk we have around the top. slowly trying to work on a walkway that went around the outside of bottom le deck level, but by the time I'd got that done, someone had turned the top deck level into a walkway. And you couldn't fit down the bottom one. I mean, if you—I was originally the side. figuring you could go along the side, but you have, as you say, you have to crouch to get yeah. through. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works. I guess. Uh... Ah, thanks, Moldark. Uh, yeah, weirdly, Kapak has arrived, but he's just uh, not talking to us. Um. I wonder if he's just listening and plotting our demise. Nah, he's probably just having issues. Do. It's guy back. I mean, so do I grind his seat off when we start driving, or? <laughs> uh, have you got enough? Have we got enough cargo space for us to actually collect a little bit of iron? I, we have three empty cargo containers on the bottom. Yep. Um, are we avoiding gas tanks for now? Why, 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 why? Probably. Ah, ah. I've got my oh, yeah. <laughs> There he is. Hey, Capac. Nice. <laughs> that good. Yeah. I didn't plug in the interface for my microphone. And then Space Engine has crashed. Delightful. I mean, par for the course. I mean, you managed to get here in time before we were able to fling you off the rover, so success. Hey, no flinging. You're right. Chief Engineer Textfire is on the case, uh, and as such, you have a few minutes. What? Well, he's got to <laughs> greeble at first. I'm not greebling it. Mm. <laughs> we'll see. To see how, how fancy looking this this catapult is by the time it's done. All right, I have a path down to the iron. I mean, is it? I mean, it's an irony hole if you want it to be. Oh wow, we are right on top of it, aren't we? Yep. How convenient. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I think there's resources everywhere on this place. It's more like the vanilla distribution of ores. So they're just yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's really uncomfortable for you, isn't it, being being this isn't easy to find resources? Ah, uh, I mean, it was it was the same with Wrong Way Down. So I figured we were still short of stuff quite often because we kept moving and because we don't go back. Yeah, you're no, constantly actually... having to find stuff. So it does. I think it kind of works. Okay, I'm coming down and getting ready to cross-cut some tunnels here. <laughs> Dex, I, I love that we have the mag locks and you've still used the giant one. I keep forgetting about those. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one seems more on theme. Yeah, I'm... only a small size difference. <laughs> Uh. Okay, seriously, I just made a bunch of steel plates. Where did they go? Someone else took them? Mm hmm. Uh, I reckon. How's nope, our power nope. situation they're, looking? They're there. I don't know. I'm looking at a mostly charged battery. Fully recharged in 0 seconds. Oh, I like okay, it. Okay, so our engines are doing everything then. Our engine. Uh. Yeah, there's occasional spikes that hit the battery, but not by much. Cool. The other battery's fully charged as well. Well, how much iron do we need? We've got power. Maybe we should be on the move. Uh, we've got oh, not a lot of iron. Okay. 
Uh, I could set. I if we get to a flat area while we're on the move, I could push the drill down to where it's just skimming, and we passively gain a little bit of iron that way. Yeah. I feel like I wasted all my time now. No, no, it was time well spent. <sighs> no. Oh, no. he got out of his chair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, hang on, hang on, here, here, here. Hang on, hang on. Go ahead. I'll be a guinea pig. See if this thing works. Well, this is not good. What's that, Kavak? Game keeps crashing. No. Oh. You should probably sit down in a chair, you know, the easier one when you're doing this. Mm -hmm. No, I can crash a chair just as well as I can crash anything else. Well, that didn't work at all, did it? No, I thought that was going to auto-lock before you dropped. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> no? That's not well. <laughs> Hang on, I have an idea. Yeah! Yeah, the survival kit upgraded to Windows 11. You haven't seriously favor, upgraded to Windows the 11, have you, Kevin? Not pissed in the uh, landing gear so that the, the locking face is horizontal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. You just, just move the hinge. You don't have to grind it down. Oh, right. You just want to... Uh, yeah. I'm just going to place a seat on it. Oh, I see. I see what you're doing. This is yep. proof of concept. Yep. For yep, the... Yep, yep. Uh, for the, the Capac... Uh, assisted takeoff. Had him. Okay, so horizontal, all the way up. Horizontal. I just, I need, I need to place the seat first. Yeah, so oh, I thought, I thought you already did. No. Low. Okay, we got two people driving this thing. All right. I don't know. I stopped. Oh, these. I Oh, dang it. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Well done, sir. Uh, I know what I'm doing like 10% of the time. So just like the rest of us. So the problem is, is my pusher talks on my mouse, and if I'm doing anything with my mouse Inventory. with build vision, Inventory. it doesn't work. Well, build vision just hates my mouse wheel lately. I don't know if it's my mouse wheel or if it's build vision, but it's really hating my mouse wheel to the point that I'm like, do I need a new mouse? All right, I'm ready. Okay, give me a sec. Down in the irony hole. Am I gonna make you a mouse, let's see. I don't even know what we're doing here now. Uh, you, you're gonna you're gonna test your catapult so you don't feel like you've wasted your time. I am a willing participant. <laughs> well, well, that's no fun. I mean, please don't launch me, Tex. It would be the worst thing ever. Wow. Yeah, you're, you're wrong with that. <laughs> I'm a fantastic voice actor. Uh, Tex, do you want a button panel? Yeah. Because I'm not sure how you're going to do the unlock. Yeah, you'll need a timer, I think. Yeah. I was just Let's thinking see. manual control, just wrote up. Unlock. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, especially if we put it back far enough that we can see while pressing the buttons. I see no way this could possibly go wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm doing this with, with the a mouse wheel is awful. <laughs> can I pull the hinge? Okay, here we go. Let's just do this. Catapult hinge. Catapult foot. Torque is all the way up. Velocity all the way up. So reverse and switch lock. All right, D, are you in? I am in. I'm on the seat, stuck to the plate. Okay, Tex. So the buttons are button one, reverses the hinge. Button two mm -hmm. releases the foot. Okay. Uh, I've got the hinge off right now. For this, may launch, this may launch horribly. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> For some added motivation text, uh, if it doesn't launch, I would be happy to give you a banana. 
You, where are you going, Tex? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Uh, I can't. I can't access the control panel here for a second. Annoyed. <laughs> it's just a bit. Okay. Theoretically, reverse. I go block on. Yep. Uh, Capac, go stand on the hinge. What? What the? What? Whoa! Yay! Uh, oh dear! Uh, uh, oh dear! Reverse! 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 Yeah. Reverse! <laughs> so remember how I said the rotor on the back is kind of dangerous? <laughs> or the hinge on the back kind of dangerous? It did that. That was amazing. <laughs> Okay. Good catch, Lindsay. Good catch. Well, I, I couldn't even see it. Did I'm he, did he actually manage to release it at the that. top of the arc or no? Uh, it, it, it threw me right into the ground like, yeah, uh, like a hill. little league player on his first overhand throw. <laughs> Alrighty. I, I think we need to lose this launcher. Oh, actually, we. I mean, you could do, give it one more go, and I have an idea of how to make it safer. Get down the um, ultimate. Yeah, the upper limit is now 10 degrees. Okay, uh, you're, I'm going to need to place the chair again if we want to try that one more time. Yep, okay. that's a bit easier. Uh, Tex, can you hit the, yep. Hang on. Oh. That's not on auto lock. Oh no, it is. Why did it not auto lock? Yeah. It's just spitting away the chairs. Uh, is it is it ground down? Because it's not even showing on the inventory right now. Mm, it's there. Is it's it called also something called other than gear? Catapult foot. Oh. You know, yeah. Look, I'm okay. beginning to think I might not have actually gotten out of bed. This may just be a fever dream. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to turn off use for parking because that, that seems over silly. Yeah, it's it's actually not auto locking anything. Uh, try going perfectly. Hang on. Have you tried switching it on and off again? Drop something. I can't switch lock. Yeah, it's not even it's not detecting the objects. Weird. I think this is a sign that we should stop trying. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. No, I think we probably. Let's get driving. Uh, Grind also, the hinge, not me. We now have only one eyebrow. Oh no, you shaved off his eyebrow. Uh, no, text it. Oh, you can replace it, Capac. You can make him look quizzical this time. Isn't that the uh, sort of thing that's appropriate, though? Fall asleep, wake up, someone shaved off one of your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you're not so. wrong. Uh, wasted, is there any reason you would be upset if I move? Well, it depends yeah, you if you choose over. to move in the direction. Yeah, as Capex saying, it depends exactly where you move. I'm quite well in line with that left front right wheel at the moment. Uh, I suppose you... I could move, but part of <laughs> me fancies a bit of chicken. All right, chicken it is. Who, bl who blinks? Rover. Oh, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't blink. Oh, there's gold down there. Oh, did you want to get some gold? Yeah, uh, let's, get, let's get going. Uh, so we need to go pretty much due north now. This terrain not. looks terrible. It's the, we've made the way. worst gun. Uh, who was firing? I was trying to take out the tree with my handgun. When you could get down there with your grinder. Yeah, it's not the same. You don't like the personal Whoa, touch? Here comes a tree. There's some magnesium down there. Have we got Life some magnesium? Up in the, uh, Did we end up actually collecting? Exciting. I thought we got some. All sorts of close up views of nature. 26 <laughs> magnesium. Yeah, that's probably enough. Uh, I don't think I can get over that hill. Um, get a running start. I have now Full labeled fun. all the wheels fully, so at some point I'll do the, the fixy thing. Another tree killed by Splitzy. Right, that's where. Wrong way down is where that's the, that whole thing started. 
Tradition. Tradition. Yep, nope, this isn't happening. <laughs> uh, well, could you try a spot that doesn't have a gigantic hill right in front of it, maybe? Oh, yeah. Like the way we came onto the lake? I mean, I could, but where's the fun in that? Uh, I wouldn't want to tell you how to drive. Oh, actually, just if you go, if you hang a left, it's pretty flat over that way. East, north, east, just go east. But I'm wanting to go north. <laughs> well, we have to get off the lake well, first. The thing about go going east is you can go east a little bit and then go north. How is, how is that fairly flat, Capac? It's flatter than what you're trying to ramp off. I know, I've got experience ramping off things. <laughs> That's true. He is, he's very yes, good at it. Yes, you do, Crashback. He, he this has is recent even, experience. This is even steeper than the last section. That's what you... This is where you said to go! No, he said east. This is west. Oh, man. All right, all right. You've got my disease now. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I thought he said west, so. It's your other east. East is kind of where we came up, so. Look, look at all these trees you can <laughs> casually mow down. Yes. This is a fever tree. Also, uh, chat said you said left, so meh. What? <laughs> I said east. I'm sure I said east. He did say east. I don't know if he but said left But I think left he said left I wasn't first. paying attention. I wasn't really paying attention. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, even with a compass, compass, I still get lost. Thanks, Draymond. <laughs> yes. I put the compass mod on and then just don't use it. I just <laughs> yeah. sit at the top of the screen and be like, all right, then uh, we're going left. I'm like, all right. But what about the thing? Ah, <laughs> uh, um, wasted. Any chance we can get some more power to the wheels? Is it time for me to fiddle with wheel settings? Yes, I think it is. I think admittedly, a lot of my testing was not done with a cargo full of ice, but we yeah, should still be able to get up this without too much problems. Uh, thanks, Charlie. No longer oh, have a, we go backwards. A, a seat for sitting. Yeah, I, I turned my yeah. jetpack on and I was like, wait, why am I moving forwards? This is weird. Yeah, here's yeah, a seat not, for you. I'm not moving forwards. <laughs> right in front of Splitzy. I don't like how that one's painted. That's fine. That's not an answer. I mean, I can repaint <laughs> it. But I think I'm the only one who can. Don't just say that's fine and then just leave it like that. What? Well, not I can't. Acceptable. I literally can't repaint it once it's placed because Splitzy, you know, controls all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can. There's a paint mod. Yeah. Oh, paint, right. Paint. I should get the paint gun and some other stuff, and that should make my time a lot more fun. Okay, what we got going on here? Uh, not God. much forward momentum and a lot of spinning wheels. Dun, 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 get some of that. Oh, someone's dun, unknown dun, signal. Dun, dun, dun. That. See you, Capac. Uh, that's not mine. Well, you I can see it. So I you go Doesn't tend to stop you normally. <laughs> Why is Capek perched in front of your driver's console like a plastic Jesus on the dashboard? That's a wasted. Oh. I like how okay. that's no longer a question. Just like, oh, <laughs> that makes I sense. I like how the peak power drawer of our wheels yep. is in the megawatts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. We, we can pull up to about 3.4 megawatts of power with our wheels. Sounds. Oh. How are we looking? Are you getting stuck or? Yeah, a little bit. Just start jumping. It'll be fine. What are you getting stuck on? Are we? We've, we've oh, got a prime number of wheels, Kenny. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> See. Du -du -du -du. Forward momentum. Nope. Should we all just get out and push? <laughs> just tag one more wheel. <laughs> be, uh, be care right. Be careful because your suspension is soft. Okay. Um, so. So I should get lots of grip, but need to not nose first into things. Yeah, not bottom out because your front wheels are not going to give you the. Oh, I say that. Front. You're gonna make the front stronger. Yep. Uh, who's, who's gone, who's live today? That would be... And where? Uh, you are, Capac. 
Am I? Oh no. I think so. <laughs> oh, I love these spotlights. Splitsy's on the YouTube. Yep. Wasted's on the Twitch. I'm just you're recording. on the Twitch. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. I assume you're on Twitch. I think I'm on Twitch. He's actually streaming to Mixer right now. Ah. At least that's a very cap thing to do. 88 people think that I'm streaming on Twitch. <laughs> they could be but wrong. Little, little did they know. Pull a trick. An elaborate charade. Is he stream streaming on Twitch or is he just twitching? Uh, no, he is streaming. Um, we don't have a beacon on this rover, do we? Uh, we just won't lose it. So if we turn off the lights, Catback might have trouble finding us? That'll uh, be fine. Probably. Although he knows where we're going. More magnesium, man. I mean, I knowing mean, where we're going is, yes, we're going to uh, what I believe we can now get our first glimpses of in the distance. It's yes. pretty purple. I don't think I'm going to have much trouble finding it. He's he's just got to turn, uh, he's just got to turn around and look for all the flattened trees. There's going to be one swath where there are no trees, <laughs> and that follow that, and that's where we are. It's called marking a path. A path, a path. Eh? What's eh? Just ran into something invisible. Oh no, why? Why do you do this to me? What? Space engineers. <laughs> Did you just get a badger thing? No, I got the, this. No, it didn't even give me anything. I got one of the. <laughs> I got one of the spinny ball ones <laughs> that you have to. Yep. At least with relative damping and jetpacks, those are pretty easy. Uh, just gotta time it right. Oh, oh, I think I might but have to the ground. Diagonal, diagonal dust. Um, I thought we should try and... I was just trying to get us so that we could actually see the other planet a bit. And then we were going to try and expand this thing, but I think I've wedged us. So if we want to expand, we need to go somewhere flat. Yeah. I'm ideally, not seeing any of those places. Ideally, a place like a lake. You mean like where we started? I wasn't going to say it, but if you're going to, yes, that would be an ideal place to expand. All right, I can, I can is make this, that Is this the intention to put this vehicle in the one situation it can't handle because none of its wheels are on the ground? Or... <laughs> mm, I think so. <laughs> you seem to be trying quite hard to arrange it. Yeah, if you just go <laughs> up just onto the side it perfectly there. there. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I, I got into that position accidentally and then I struggled to get out of it. <laughs> I saw someone's made a mod um, recently that would make wrong way, these wrong way series a lot easier, like probably too easy, that smooths yeah. out the horrible voxels. I saw that and I was like, that kind of makes so you want to play like space if you again. play on the ME planet. Yeah. I'm seeing sparks up the front. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, front. You're, you're, you're bottomed out right on the bottom there. Uh, that's the uh, front set of wheels. Uh, two seconds. Ah, uh, uh, grip. Give me some grip. We do have a gyro on this thing. I'm using it. Okay. There you go. It'll be a bit better on the front. That's because it was actually because the front didn't have enough strength. You were grounding it. This, this, actually, this little pocket looks reasonably flat. I mean, if you knock down the trees. Yeah. What do you think? I feel like this might be a uh, okay spot to start expansion attempts. We've got magnesium, we've got nickel, we've got iron. So when we expand this, do we need to make another grid first, basically? And then we connect them together? We should be able to build off the hinges. Yeah, we should be able to project the existing grid off of the hinges. I've already, I already started the hitch. Weren't you trying to uh, do that with the chairs earlier? So, so basically, we're going to use the base chassis of this as a continued copy. Yep. Uh, and we, we, take a, we take a blueprint of it, and then when we project it, we just don't weld the whole thing up. We don't weld the top bit. We just weld the frames. 
Uh, no, there is another good flat point. spot up ahead. I think we're okay here. This area is not quite big enough. There's like little lights. Oh yeah, I see. That's not a little lake. That's a big lake. Well, there's, there's enough room here. Okay. I assume you intentionally slammed us down to lock us in position. Uh, which or is like that just? Is that? Or is that just? The, uh, that's just me having a look at how strong the suspension is. It might be that the rear end is. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit saggy. It looks like that's where most of the weight is. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Don't blame my cargo edition. My cargo is center of mass. Although the drill might not be helping. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be better once we have the second trailer thing. Oh, yeah. Adding another trailer and another set of wheels is only in, only surely to help. Yeah, 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 yeah. It all, it's you always helped me. You text. Uh, no, when no, you I, were around I was there evening. when you were playing. Oh, yeah, no, I'm... I'm he says it he says it with sarcasm, but he knows it's actually genuine. <laughs> he knows that this one will actually get better the more carriages it gets up to I a was, point. I was trying then... to add drama to this series. <gasps> drama Drama Trust me, there's gonna be plenty of drama. It's gonna come from the skies. Yep. Arr. <laughs> As I see a golden spear flying past, some transport squares, a firefly, a rust freighter. Hey, Raylan, thanks so much. Uh, piston is down and extended, so if people lose jetpack power, they can just ride it up. Sweet. There's also the button. There's also the button panel here. Uh -huh. All right, I'm just uh, waiting for Wasted to start laying down Hitch so that I can uh, start helping build it. Oh, Hitch, hitch uh, is um, really super complicated. Did you use right. three hinges, or did you use a pair of hinges Two and a hinges. rotor? Two hinges and a rotor. Do you need two to hinges have the and a rotor? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Huh. I, I like. I was just trying to work out mechanically whether multiple whether you could get away with three hinges that are all offset from each other. The you but could get away get with some three hinges, in, but you get some weird forces from yeah. it. That's what I thought. It's the sort That's of thing that might work well. in real world, but doesn't work here. Uh, uh, ow! Um, ow. I heard explosions. What, 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 um, why am I? Why am I dying? Uh, uh something's shooting uh, at us. Are we getting shot? I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't think we're getting shot. I think. It's happening. Ewoks. Uh, Is this? Ow! Acid rain. Where? Where's oh, the? Oh dear. The. It's acid oh rain. yeah, it's green. And there's the rain. Oh, I don't, I don't This oh, also no, I damages blocks. Uh, yeah, it does. was causing stuff yeah. to go uh, weird up top. Should we maybe head out? It looks like uh, we're almost out of it. Should I be worried about a CLG Carl Urban Assault Mark 1? Uh, maybe. What did you do to it? Are you attacking it, Capac? No, but it's... I oh, know, not really coming in this direction. Uh, can I get a GPS? <laughs> Um, yeah. I, was, I have no trouble finding us, huh? Yeah, I was happy to look for it until the acid rain started. <laughs> I mean, if you stand under something, it does stop the rain from damaging people. I mean, it's not, it's not killing us super bad. No. Uh, also, there you go, come back. So this piece super I can't see. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, so this is the acid rain that I uh, did warn you guys about. What the uh-oh. Hmm. It hopefully won't last Rimworld lengths of time. <laughs> uh, can it, will a tree protect me if I stand under a tree? No. Right, I'm going to die then. <laughs> I sent you the GPS. Yep. 2.7 kilometers away. We're going to need to put something to... Yeah, put an umbrella over the uh, rover. Yeah. yeah. It's damaging it pretty slowly. Yeah, large yeah. grids pretty resistant, but small grids are not. I'll get an umbrella built anyway, just to protect the turbines. 
Oh, you're gonna we'll, put something over the turbines? Well, I, I think we don't need the turbines at this point. What? Hole in the ground? Okay. Does that work? I'll take the turbines off then. Oh, yeah. I should do, yeah. Yeah, hole ah, in the ground. Jeez. Yeah, this is all the partially built blocks dying. The stuff that didn't have parts in it. There we go. I think the rain's it's passed. The, it's, it's the framework no. around the outside. No, I'm still doing it. No, I'm dead. Oh. Capac's first death caused by rain. Okay. Damn you, rain! Uh, um, we should we should probably lower a little bit. I don't think we need to be quite that high. Yeah, we could lose some of the mast, I guess. And lower our center of mass a little bit. Maybe, like, right around here? Um, I would, we'll just leave this, this, this part right here. Everything part. from this block up, let's chop off. And then we can add an umbrella off I of something. Don't, I don't know what your... I just ground a block, block off, sorry. The, the partially ground block. I think everything that and then everything above it we take off. I'm working on it right now. Yeah. All right. Wait, so I've queued up the bits for the hinges and rotors. And the astran mm -hmm. appears to have passed now, so we should be right to build it. I am going to finish repairing the wheels first, because they apparently get quite badly beaten up by acid rain. Or at least yes. the ones on the outside do. Yeah, the inside we ones are going to have to cover them. The inside ones are fine, but the outside ones take a bit of damage. Yeah, we may... We may have greater problems with that in the future. So okay. maybe something we'll want to consider building mud guards. What? I mean, I could throw some on. Mud what? Mud guards. Oh, no. What the? Oh. Well, in a tunnel. I could. It'd be pretty easy to throw some, some uh, guards over the top of them right now. Because I just has to cover the block. It doesn't have to, be like a realistic one. It just has to, I think, cover specifically the block that's under it. We just did built out a little bit and put a line of blocks. I just killed myself on a wheel. Um, right over the top of the wheels. It should be fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm so glad that the um, weather struck when most of us were at home. I oh, bet you are. Damn it. What's wrong, Wasted? Oh, I keep putting it on. I uh, keep putting the third rotor, a uh, third hinge on, forgetting that by doing so, it doesn't have any power yet, so it's just going to flop down, and I'm better off doing them one at a time. Ah. I am here to help weld so that we can get it done quickly, though. Cool, I'll be back shortly. I need to use the piston. <laughs> I love the way you said that. Uh, <laughs> that was brilliant. Is the. Oh no, that one's got space. The little boy's room just happens to be on a on a moving platform. Is everyone else beating me to the assembler? I think that's what's happening. I think more assembler power might be wise. Um, are solar panels resistant to the acid rain? Question mark. Uh, no. Maybe. Okay. Probably not. Yeah. I. So I'm not. We were. I'm not convinced that the resistances work. Well, none of the steel blocks that were, at least the ones that were complete, were taking any damage. The steel blocks? Oh, yeah, they were. They were. I ran around and repaired them all. I've repaired oh, the a bunch ones on as well. the mass had no damage. Oh, yeah, because it probably had blocks above it. Yeah, because oh, the ones yeah, actually the in, our, but in our surface out here, uh, some of this is still damaged. Not badly damaged, but still damaged. Yeah, I, I did try to make it so that certain items like bulletproof glass, armor plate, wouldn't be damaged, but I'm not convinced that what I did worked. Because I couldn't determine exactly which uh, ID they were using for those blocks. I think it's the in-game IDs, which makes it really, really painful for all the different armor types. Well, we'll, we'll just try it. Throwing some armor panels down first. So yeah, see that, that works. And it, and because it's armor panels, it'd be relatively easy and cheap, cheap to repair. Oh, Although admittedly, no. maybe solar panels would be even easier to repair. My beautiful crow's nest. 
Well, I mean, they would be dual, dual purpose, which wouldn't hurt. But it's up to you guys. I mean, we could try solar panels. I'm not sure your real estate's worth quite so much anymore, Capac. Views slightly reduced. <laughs> no, I guess oh, increasing the square footage by this much will increase the property value, though. <laughs> It's the extension of putting on an entire new floor. The rover needs a giant fez. Hmm. Especially if it's got that little tassel -y bit on the top. Well, go on, Kapak. You, you always seem to like making hats. Give us a sombrero. Or at least a jaunty pork sudden, pie hat or something. Sudden, sudden Big rectangular sombrero. I mean, it's a Spanish word, it makes sense. I know, it surprised me. <laughs> Capac likes them. Uh, would you like to ask them for dinner, guys? I'll make some shifts and kiss all. <laughs> you don't say queso like queso? Or do you say queso? Oh, God. Oh, what one of them, one of them queasy dillas. <laughs> oh. it's, it's, it's a pair of tortillas. Oh, that hurt some my skull. Queso in the middle. Uh, do love me a queasy dill. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of. Sounds like a bad night out, that. <laughs> oh, it just... really does. Yeah, well, man, I drank so much I got the queasy dillas. I was I was out. Um, Spetsy's Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where was I? I was off in like some vineyard somewhere, and someone was asking if they could please have some more of the camembert. Ah, bird. Yeah. Oh, camembert. Yep. To go with their semelon. Every time I hear these things, I'm just like, oh, that's that's always going to come to mind. Cringes, just cringes a little bit. <laughs> uh, we got enough coverage now, or do we need to keep going for it? That should that should be it. fine. It's covering most of the important bits. Although our turret's useless now. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, we should probably put that up top. Yeah. I think the main thing we're going to have to do some cleverness around is how to protect the hitch. Uh, yes, but we should be able to have a couple of like overlapping plates over it. Yeah, as long as they're at different heights, then kind we of... should get the right sort of... Because yeah. that's almost how we'll end up doing the runway, I think, as well. Yeah. Uh, the other thing we could do it's is... It's a bunch have of some... slight, really closely overlapping plates. Hmm. Sorry, dude. We could, we could also... Oh, sorry. Uh, we could also, I don't know if it would work, we could stick a welder on the bottom of each one, just to have those on, so if they do get damaged, we could just, it, just auto-weld it back. Like under here, under each cargo container. I know it's a little low at that point. Could we it put it on top blast instead? It off. Will that work? Yes, so it does. Are we doing mud flaps or no? Uh-huh. You're, you're welcome to, Dex. Um, feel free to greeble. Oh, uh, not really greebling at this point. It's more. Well, I mean, you could do. Yes. Remember, functioning text. Yes, yes. Remember, if you put too much back. curve, it might be a wing. <laughs> is is this some kind of building mod that we didn't have last time? There, there is a mod that I added to help de and waste it. Yeah, it's good. It's Which a good is, mod. I like the mod. It helps everybody. I'm finding it very yeah. confusing. But it, specific, it specifically helps those guys more so. Uh, but it makes the emissives less emissive and more easily distinguishable in terms of colour. I see, I see. So, that's why they're now orange, the unbuilt stuff. And the green is a, it's almost a more pale green. I love it. Uh, I also got rid of the drop pod mod. Because it was causing the server to lag by the end of the stream. 
But how are we going to get our robot deliveries? Uh, I'm, I'm sure, sure they'll find a way. will eventually come around. Uh, are we out of iron? I don't know. Yep. We? We're out of iron. Well, there's some iron below us. I started digging down to it, and then I stopped because I got distracted by something that I can't remember. <laughs> Which is kind of the story of my life. Uh, where did you start your digging? Uh, look for the hole. I want to say it's uh, off to the left side of the rover and aft. After yeah, the actual yeah, rover. Yeah, where I am. Oh. Yeah, I think because this is all the, the flat plates, it's a bit difficult to build anything up here. Well, you can change stuff. Just pull a plate out and put something else in his bed. Yeah, no, I mean, that was just... Yeah, no I was, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it as aesthetically. There's no oh. all scrap as well, so you can read jig as you like. Jig away. I think jig away. At this point, aesthetics are secondary to function, so... Never! I, I agree. I agree, Kamek. Uh, then I think we've been building the rover wrong. <laughs> I mean... It's beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's a great rover. It's a good looking. Where's the iron? This way. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know. What's oh no? Why is it drilled one way? I drilled the other, and now we've got a branching tunnel system again. It's fine. <laughs> Just remember where you are. Well, yeah. You were busy driving the wrong way, so I thought I'd go the right way. Well, that was probably a mistake. I mean, last series was the wrong way down. Just saying. Now we actually are doing things the wrong way down. Or the long way down. Because I get lost every time I go down these branching tunnel systems. I mean, we have a uh, compass mod and everything. Yeah, we had that last time too. <laughs> Didn't help. Still didn't help. How many, how many times did we think we were nearly at the pole and it was still like another 30 k's away? Um, what? Yeah. Really? And I also managed to, at the, over the first couple of weeks of Wrong Way Down, I think I drove toward the darkest area even though I was trying to do the exact opposite. So I ended, we ended up getting stuck with a lot of night time. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the way out. Uh, can I reach from the ground? Yes. Do 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 do. Oh, what? I think we're gonna need to have a bigger drilling apparatus. Uh, probably I could be very happy I could probably whip something up but uh, the problem with that it's gonna have to be something that then deploys a little farther out why did I just hit the explosion uh, space engineers being space engineers it might have been a unknown signal uh, no tax uh, tax I, I, I don't know what I did <laughs> <laughs> it, it kind of merged with the with the, <laughs> the rain and then started you know, doing the funky chicken. Uh, there's a giant crater to the right side of the rover. Uh, those armor, armor panels, they're tough. <laughs> Sounds pretty suspicious. Uh huh. Hey, Tex, I mean... Tex is the imposter. <laughs> if this was a four-wheeled rover, we'd have a problem right now. Indeed. <laughs> but it's not. But thanks to its prime number of wheels... Yes, it's... yes, indeed. I mean, worst case scenario, we can always get the one off the back. Yep. <laughs> uh, did we also have cobalt? We had a tiny, weedy bit of cobalt. All right. How much Our do we wheels have? are protected on the left side. Please, what did... 
Are we doing something completely different left and right? Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm deadly serious. That's why it's such a glorious color. It's not just... <laughs> oh, dear. Uh... Ooh, I like the entry now, rate, Capac. That's pretty I cool. I hate to read that guy, but the wider we make it, the worse its turning radius will be. Because once this thing starts articulating... Yep, uh, but I pretty much stayed over the wheels. Ooh, very sparkly. I thought oh. you'd like it. Oh, I didn't realize Wasted hadn't you're connected hurting, these two coding systems. No, I hadn't. Because there wasn't really anywhere to connect them at the moment. We could plug into so the side much. of the refinery, but uh, for now it was just making sure that we had a connection point to go from if we needed it. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Because building it without the cargo network going through would be frustrating later down the line. <laughs> I did add a second assembler and put it in a cooperative mode underneath the rover. Okay, now then. For the fun bit. Projector. Positioning blueprints, my favorite. <laughs> what we could maybe do... Oh yes, that's a very good point. What's that? So what we've just done is build one, two, three really big wings on our rover. Yeah, it'll be. It's gonna be fine. Uh, they shouldn't act as wings because they're just flat. As far as I understand the mod, they may act as sort of parachutes in a way. Yeah, they'll they'll add drag, but they shouldn't add lift. Well, unless there's something in the dev branch. Speaking of good points, um, we appear to have constructed a big armor shield to protect uh, enemy ships from our one gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, we mentioned that. Like I said, that gun was built before we had a big ass umbrella. Sorry, brawly. Well, I said, count yourself lucky enemy ships. <laughs> Capic, I thought you were going to put a gun in the very top of the hat. I am about to do that. On the plus side, my giant purple monstrosity on the side here does act as a decent walkway. That's true. Mm -hmm. I know it's not going to stay purple. Suppose he's going to paint it any second now. Ah, my bullets. Every time you I hurt? paint the whole grid, I have to repaint the eyebrows, so I'm trying to resist. You, you mm -hmm. hurt my soul, D. You hurt my soul. I mean, yours isn't really prettier. What is soul? Just flat plate. That right, That's a nice thing to say. Yeah, but it, it's the you know it, it's the design idiom. There, Actually, the other way around. Idiom split. For this thing. <laughs> oh god! In fact, don't even use that blueprint. It's just dawned on me. I want a new one because I've renamed all the wheels since I took that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I would quite like my wheels to maintain their naming down the length of this before it gets really confusing. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Once okay, we have a rainbow of subgrids. Ah, yes, the uh, subgrid color designation that seems to exist purely in the colorblind spectrum and nowhere else. Yep. All yes. Right. What what varying shade of orange to green would you like? Red to green would you like, Mr. Red Green Color Person Person? <laughs> well, what uh, Merrick found out you're a red green color blind and was like, oh, I know what colors I'm using. Come on now, if Merrick had his choice, this game would be black and white. That's true. If he thought he could sell it that way, his and, vision and would be black and white only. All screenshots black and white. No, you wouldn't be able to take screenshots because there'd too, be too much film over the camera. Well, that's that's what the sequel's going to be Space Engineers Noir. <laughs> <laughs> Eyebrows is wrong. Jeez, Capac, you could have built your eyebrow, you know, in the right color. Uh, no, I couldn't. It wouldn't let me grab the color from the other blocks. I did actually try to do that. Oh. I, I start coming up through the tunnel, and suddenly there's this hologram of the rover in the tunnel, and I was very confused for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind that, making some slight adjustments. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, it's nice when you remember to put the projector on the right way around. It's Thanks like a so USB much, port for me. I always have to place it two or three times before I get it the right way. Don't worry, there are going to be... Well, I learned a trick from a man about how to always get it the right way around. Go on. Slow. Um, there are going to be unnecessarily large numbers of subgrids with this. Especially as I think our next trailer is going to be our drill trailer. Yeah. Hopefully not. Capsaicin. <laughs> Capsaicin. Capsaicin, eater of quesadillas. The trailer hitch looks twisted oh. on Splitsy screen, I'm hearing. Yeah, it's slightly off. That's fine. Right, it's not going to matter because we're building directly onto it uh, anyway. So. As long as people are aware, I guess that's fine. Did you want it at that row wasted or one forward? Uh, one forward. I was just double checking and adjusting. Yep. Do, 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 do. Dunk. Should be correct. And then just to make things easier for us, you there. It's majestic. It, it's not. Uh, the only thing I will mention is we need to not build the front set of wheels. Okay. Oh. All the trailers okay. only have three pairs of wheels. Ah, uh, yes. The yes. front vehicle has four. Because otherwise it can't articulate. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Are you ready to start placing? And I guess I should put this on to show only buildable, because that will be way easier to see. Uh, possibly. You keep projection and show only buildable. There we go. Um, are we worried about cargo capacity or anything on this right now, or just get the I'd frame just, down? I'd just get the frame and the wheels down, because then uh, we can get it moving. We can get it moving, and, and the... Um, I, I sort of intentionally set things up, so you're always going to be able to run a cargo network straight down the center line. And I, th I think it might be worth trying to set a drill up on this first trailer. One, one of our cars is like a drill trailer. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Maybe mm. this one. Because... It seems like we might need to be able to reach down to about 50 meters to get a decent amount, or we could just go with stone scraper. I'm not sure which is safer. People in chat are trying to make me do my hinge chain I've done before, but I think in the server Unwielding that might be... that from the side of the... Sh <laughs> yeah. just lots of subgrids. Yeah, it's lots of thing we wield. Yeah, I don't If we did a stone scraper, good. it should be on the front grid. I think. Ooh. And then have something pulled to the back. If we do a drill rig, we can put it anywhere. So. Yeah, let's let's go for something that gets down a bit deeper, and because I've I found yeah. that scrapers, especially once you run into a tree, uh, tend to explode. Well, just don't run into a tree. Uh, that's. That's just that's, not an option, DE. It's all attached, right? Uh, I'm gonna have to get this cargo. I guess there's only one way to find out. What is? Way to do this. Uh, these armor blocks I put up the top should be attached to those armor panels. Guess we'll find out. No. Apparently yep. not. No. What? Oh god. All right, who okay. wants to help me reattach this gun? What? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? It's an impressive <laughs> balancing job, but it doesn't look like it's going to stay there forever. No. <laughs> No, I like it. Slowly wobbling his way off. <laughs> wow. Be better to put it on a piston, yeah, back. And it's deployable. What, so when when we need the firepower, it's real slow. Well, you can set the piston to pull faster. Oh, oh no, it's falling. No. Oh, and our it's last text. 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 Do it there to take the punishment. Wow. And in a surprise to no one. Actually, I, I do like the idea of, like, the piston deployable. Same. I was thinking uh, push them out the sides, because then you just, then you don't need to have a roof that closes. That was, ah, there you go. That was why I was taking that block out. I was going to start building a system to do that. No, don't, 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 don't go through the roof. Just go through the sides. 
Yeah. No, Just... I was I was gonna leave that one turret on the roof like it was, but I was going to make two that extend from the sides. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. All right. So then what we actually want is we want armor panel that, um, yeah, or, or maybe a conveyor that we can actually hook up panel to. We're going to need a box here. All right. That's really weird. Uh, I have linked the cargo, so you should be able to sometimes get stuff with build planner from the other grid. It often won't work. I thought Bill Planner specifically ignored subgrids. Yeah, it does seem to. That's why I still use Easy Inventory. That's, that's, well, in fact, it's why I have both, generally, yeah. and use both, is because Easy Inventory will pull from subgrids, Bill yeah. Planner won't, and sometimes having that choice is actually kind of handy. That's a good point. Uh, how am I going to do this? How do I return the ability to walk around? Uh, Tex, I was going to put the conveyor block one block higher than that. Uh, okay. I mean, the gun will... You want the gun higher? Yeah. Okay. Nope. Oh. At the same height. Attached to this, this is the bottom plane here. So if you follow. <laughs> yeah, the trailer is in the right place. <laughs> Determined to use the round one, even though... I'm trying to make a round peg fit in a square hole. Uh, yep. Kabak, Kabak loves those new round conveyors. I, yeah. I, I'm sensing this. He never uses anything else now. Where do catwalks go? Oh, down there. We're going to be uh, stuck here for a little bit, right? Uh, a little pointing? bit, yeah. I was putting this like conveyor it, yeah. one block higher so I could armor it up like I did to these ones, like it was before. Oh. <laughs> well, never mind. I'll just quit helping. I thought I was being up. My bad. <laughs> and Tex relearns the lesson. Don't help Capac. I don't know that I ever learned it in the first place, but I'm a quick learner. Yes, leave me to my own devices so I can... Unattached to gun turrets and awkward in, moments. Incapacitate your own doom on your own. Yep. All these things. Alright. I'm walking away. I'm wondering. We're going to have to do some serious reworking of this front rover so that we can get the upgrade modules on things, but. I'm still wondering what... I'm almost thinking as we extend the design, we've got a chance to rework the front one as yeah, we go. Because so. the front one's obviously where we started in a bit of a mess. As we go mm -hmm. back, we can start doing it slightly more organised as we've got more control <laughs> over the room. Yep, as we have more room. All right, we now have a pathway around the rover, so I can stop doing that. Yeah, I'm okay. trying to get the... Um, all of the wheels placed so that I can unlock that rotor because the heavier that thing gets, the more... Or oh, unlock that hinge. Yep. Because the heavier it gets, the more it's going to not like being hung up in the air like this. Yep. All right, now... Any, any reason I can't place these uh, turrets on the side here, Capek? Do you have more to do on it? Uh, nope. If you want to throw those on, that is cool. Uh, what are they... What are the eye beams called in the... Beam? Yeah, yep. beam. There we go. Production. It's always going to be a pain. Uh, oh. 
Okay, we're almost out of iron again. Um, working on it. Hmm. There we go. Turret's not going to escape this time. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, cat back. Wh what has this thing become? Look, turrets just want to be free. We can't turrets allow that to happen. Just wanna have the fun. I thought you were going to go with break free. I mean, maybe. Save that for when the first set of wheels goes long. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to break free. Yeah, hold. Yeah, this is why I think I'm half thinking to you that maybe we put some of this hand binding effort into making a yield module. Yeah, maybe. Also, where's my out? Ah! There's my out. <laughs> it's... Ah, that would be why I couldn't find any parts for the motors, the Gatling turrets, because they were getting stolen as fast as they were made. I just got a suggestion in chat that I'm not sure how Wasted would feel about. Um... Whoa. Ah! Gunfire. Uh, th there's a dude. Well, kill? Shoot him. Uh, yeah, I think he's dead. <laughs> um, what, what shot him? The, the turret? <laughs> the turret. Yeah, when I built the Gatling turret. It, it went, just... hello. <laughs> Over there, at the back. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, yep, here's a body. You get a bullet, and you get a bullet. Left Dear Mr. Bolenders. Robot, would you stand up? Please. You just learned the first lesson. Don't stand up. He had some uh, oxygen bottles and bullets. You don't really need oxygen yeah. bottles. Yeah, especially if you're a robot. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, man. I mean, maybe run. Maybe the robot runs on oxygen. Uh, uh, Fifty cents is a bit expensive wait, for a capac net shield. Observer, a, like a base. Oh, is there a base? Gunfire. Gunfire uh, in the distance. Yeah, oh, that was me. Um, five five <laughs> oh, yeah. kilometers north, there's an observer post. No, there there are two. There's one to the west oh. as well. Oh yeah, there is two. We're gonna have we're gonna have ground stuff. We're gonna and potentially drones. Oh goody. Yep. Was that you again? Uh, that was not me. Oh. Because there was definitely a gunshot in the distance. They're learning Capac's language and they're trying to respond. I feel like we're going to need some sort of small grid rover soon. Mm hmm. I don't know that we want to divert the resources away from this until it's finished, but I think straight after this trailer is done, maybe that's the way to go. Something we can. Uh, small, small grid rover or a scout plane? Well, I was thinking like small grid rover. Small grid rover as a scout vehicle to begin with. You mean like the one that we had that blew up? Yeah, yeah, the one that blew up. Man, if only you hadn't blown that up, Splitsy. Well, you know, I didn't uh, you, know, you can't have everything. I parked it. Didn't Blowing stuff up hmm. when parking is Capac Danger Parking Amaru's job. Hey, at least when I crashed it, it was repairable. Oh, that's that's gunfire. gunfire. Yeah, where does, does anyone have any idea where it's coming from? Nope. Uh, sounds like the yes, northwest. this direction, northwest, indeed. North, northwest. In the direction of the observer. Uh, okay, that's wasted on that hill over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, scanning, scanning. No, nope, can't see anything with the gun turret. Oh, enemy tree sighted. 
Oops. <laughs> Fell through the grid. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder if that robot came from the Carl Urban assault vehicle, which is still hanging around. Yeah, it's uh, almost four Ks away though, so I don't really we can't really go on foot. That's what made me think a scout vehicle, because then we could go out and investigate that, slash the observer bases and things. I mean, what is Keith Urban doing with it? Oh, Carl Urban. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, David. I <laughs> Dutch Dread is after us. I didn't do a Deadpool for this, because um, there's too many people. It's probably it's not too hard. Good. Probably not. He, he is the law. Alright. Um, I think. Oh. Wait, this, this random gunfire is really upsetting. Oh. oh. Was that you, Cap? Yeah, it's or was close that as well. Uh, that was one of the Gatling guns. Uh, it looks like it fired north northwest. Alright. Uh, do you want to come with me and we'll go and investigate? I've just been up there and I couldn't see anything. But... Hmm. Interesting that the gunfire started as soon as I left. <laughs> Suggesting that someone else can see something. Oh, I think I just saw something come up. Yep, you're in the right, right direction, Kamak. Oh, DFE oh, yep. sighted. Yep. Get the bot. You got eyes on him, Kapak? Uh, no, but I'm 60 meters from him. Oh! I can't see what direction you guys went. North, northwest. This terrain is not good. Did you get him, Kapak? Coming. No. Oh! Good job. Got him. Uh, there's there more gunfire. Texas shot me. Oh, well, he didn't. The signal's on. Um, we good? Come back, you think? Yeah, like, I is think there so. another person who's bright purple? Tex? I mean, it, you were gray looking when I was shooting. Oh, it's getting foggy. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Better not be acid fog. All right, I'm returning to the truck by jetpack. Yes, yes, yes. I need the side of a barn to attack me because I have terrible aim. I know. Make fun of my terrible aim on my other streams all the time. Oh, gonna be bond sided. <laughs> time for bond storming. How's your child split? Go. <laughs> he was born for this day. <laughs> yeah, I'll, ne yeah, I'll never make a first funny. person shooter. Gamer person, because I like my mouse sensitivity too high. Oh, you say that. I played. I was still playing CS back in the day. I played with someone. Uh, if for those rare people in the audience that understand Counter Strike like sensitivity numbers, still his default sensitivity in game would be would be sensitivity thirty six. We've got some clips of him headshotting someone in one direction, and then within like three or four frames. Headshotting someone pointing 180 degrees the other direction. That's so crazy. Well, <laughs> thanks for that wasted. You just made me feel awful. <laughs> it's some, oh. To be fair, I was kind of using computer it as my science excuse. student. He was a computer science student, which meant that what he did was play computers, uh, play Counter Strike all day, every day <laughs> for multiple years. Well, speaking of 
hectic online shenanigans, I made a uh, compilation of luckiest goals in Rocket League. Yes, the other luckiest goals, I like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Best goal, just, just biggest flukes. So I booted the ball down the field and it happened to land on one of the opponent's team as they spawned in after being demoed. It ricocheted off the top of their car into the goal. I like it. Yep, it was a very capac goal. It was pretty funny. Timing was perfect. 100% <laughs> intentional. Yep, yep, sure. <laughs> I believe it. I knew in advance which of the two positions that are a 50 50 chance <laughs> that the enemy player was going to spawn in. He started the stopwatch on his death, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, can we can we pause with building the rover? I think we just need a quick plunge drill to get some stuff because uh, hand mining design is underneath. not getting us enough. Oh, can, oh, we, can we extend the um, the elevator? Well, I'm literally working on it underneath. I'm just getting a hole big enough. Not a particularly good elevator if um it goes underground. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was just going to stick it off the bottom of the rover here if you guys well, come out of the belly. I mean, at the moment, we should be able to, now that the um, trailer is down, I should be able to reverse and move forward and just keep plunging with this thing at least a few times to get stoned. Uh, okay, you're going to want to be careful with that. Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm about to take off the park brake. Uh, well, hold up. Oh. Uh oh. You pulled We're it moving. Up. You did? Alright. We're out of here. Full speed ahead. And now we can go down. Oh, oh, gunfire. Uh, Top of the hill, there's a vehicle. Southeast. There's a vehicle? What? I think there was a vehicle. Or maybe I was imagining things. I don't know. Plunge drill going down. Cool. Um, the reason I was saying is I had actually just drilled a rather large hole underneath the rover so I could get a full-size plunge drill going directly below. Oh. But now it's not lined up anymore. I see a robot sliding down the hill. Uh, oh, D, I wouldn't put that there. Well, That's going to clang it, hard. I, it was while we were stationary only. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was but a temporary it, thing. Oh, right. Because being beside those wheels... <laughs> Yes, I know. That's it, that's why I asked, are we going to be staying here for a while? And I was like, yes. And then next thing I know, well, I'm taking the parking brake off and I frantically start grinding. <laughs> um, okay, so you've been down. You're coming back up. I'll move forward. Coming back up. Where'd he go? Where's the body? i got to confirm the kill. All right, going back, back down. down. Are you taking trophies? How much stone are we getting? Yep, I'm taking an ear off each of these robots and making a belt out of them. Oh yeah, we're we're accumulating some stone with this setup. Uh, any chance that somebody can tell me which piston I'm moving, which which gun piston? Uh, let's see. Left. Left. Thank you. Coming back up. So that would make this one the right? Yep. Yep. Clear to move forward. Going down. Now oh, we're looking. Stone. We've now Third got. Deploy. Oh, we got a like, solid 35,000 kilograms of stone already. Yeah, that's not a ton of iron. We should do this for a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. But it's um, working faster than the refinery can, so. Mm. And if we got a yield module on the refinery, we might. Going back up. Do okay. Do we have gold for that? Uh, we don't, but we saw some around here, I thought. I think it was behind us a ways. Uh, oh, we'll find some, I'm sure, once we get going. We're good. Move forward. I love that we've turned this drilling into a two man job going back down. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean this is just uh, classic public works, right? <laughs> yeah, one guy standing around 
Uh, four guys standing around, one person doing work sometimes. Uh, you are missing a supervisor on this operation. Oh, Capac's standing on the roof. Does that count? That was going to be the canary. I mean, yeah, kind of. Don't you have to be in the mine for that? The canary that's not in the coal mine is kind of useless. What? No, well, canaries, that's Capac. canaries need to be free to spread their wings <laughs> and fly. <laughs> okay. You're clear to move forward. Thank you. Go. Oh. Going back down. Uh, much iron. So it's uh, 400. Right. Mm hmm. We're also going to want a gravel ejector. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. Uh, Mr. Split. What was that text? But Mr. Splitsy, when you, when you have a minute, mm -hmm. uh, I've made a new seat for Steve so that I can place another plum. Oh, you want me to move Steve? All right, I'll move Steve. Hang on. Let me bring the microphone with me. I'm just waiting for the tripping, crashing noise. There we go. Steve is moved. Piston's going back up. A split seat. <laughs> Ghost rock. <laughs> I put a message for you in the Discord. For who? You. Me? Yep. What'd you do? Go, go, go read it. Um. Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not sure. Uh, Kamak, I'm not sure. You, you do you. Oh, who's driving? I am. Okay. You, you were busy, so I figured. As long as someone was. Because <laughs> the vehicle moved. It was the ghost rock. Yeah, Steve's driving. Oh yeah, I should. Steve, take I the wheel. I assume that this was a given. But I should probably mention this, of course, relies on that subgrid control script. Yes. Okay, just checking that that was understood. Yep. Otherwise, we... 100% um, understood. It does sort of work with just the front car powered, but it struggles. Yeah, it would. We're going to start running out of flat Thanks land. Thanks so much, Greg. <laughs> We're going to start running out of... Oh, flattish surface. Coming back up. Do we have enough now for purposes? Uh, yeah, I think it gives us a bit of a start. Okay. Do you want me to build an actual drill rig off the side somewhere? Just to <sighs> siphon up a bunch of stone? Yeah, all right. Yeah. I think you've got enough now that you'd be able, you should have enough stuff to build the drill. Okay. I'll go off the side instead of down the, down the yeah, back I think, like I was going. I think that'd be safer. We're starting to get some wheels done back here. I like the uh, extendable piston guns. Those are nice. Yeah, they're nice and simple and look like they'll work. Just handy. <laughs> you need a bigger planet your rover curves around it and we're, don't worry we'll get a bigger planet we may not have a bigger rover when we arrive but that's just because i have no idea how we're going to do it uh we're just going to convert the thing into a unicycle and go <laughs> i suspect we're gonna have to do some test runs to a the other planet unicycle. with small group Let's see where I should put this connection off. Oh, I'm just getting asked about the. You know how we had the map in Wrong Way Down? I don't think that's going to be possible here. Because this is a custom world. Which is unfortunate because that was kind of cool. 
That's right, D can handcraft us a map made out of sparkly blocks. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I do not make any guarantees as to its accuracy, however. Uh, what's what's the deal with this piston? What? Uh, I'm going to do a drill, a temporary side drill thingy. Ah. I think that's going to be long enough. Jeez. Ooh. Thanks for bringing up the twin-stick shooter. Now people are wanting me to make an enlarge grip. <laughs> I kind of want to see ways to try that now. What am I trying? Making uh, a twin-stick shooter in large grid. God. <laughs> uh, it's going to be big. <laughs> wow, yeah. it's going to be enormous. I don't think the scale works. I don't think you could scale it up. I thought... I. I yeah. think the mechanism, are, like the the if, if you think about the size of a block in comparison to the size of the wheel, yeah, the scale Wrong. relation is different between small grid and large grid. I don't think you could do it in large grid because you'd have to use five by five because it was a five by five wheel that was on it. I think you'd have to use the biggest wheel you could get your hands on. Even then, yeah. the the framework for the bike would be bigger than the wheel. Yeah. Fuel low. Fuel critical. Oh, we're slowly getting this thing done. Oh no, my skeleton fell over. What? You heard me. Come on. No, I was I was kind of expecting to turn around and see you'd made some sort of pixel art skeleton. Oh, <laughs> don't have that much free time. <laughs> but it does seem like a very um, new thing to do. You wouldn't deny that. Uh, no, it's the skeleton I got at the supermarket for Halloween. Ah. Uh. I assume by your appearance that this means I'm good to continue. Yes. Well, I'm going to run out of materials to build the drill here shortly. Okay. Uh. Come back. Yes. Please come and drill some iron with me. Oh, that sounds boring. Where are you? Back here. We need to collect a bunch so that we can actually get these things built. Oh, I'm gonna empty my inventory a bit. Why, why am I so full? Oh, I got a. Have you got like 12 guns on you? No, I got a whole bunch of bottles. Ah. Could it be one of those things? Thanks, David. Do you know where the irony hole is, Kamak? Yeah. Yeah. The light's even on. Ow! How rude. You suddenly stopped in front of me. I walked into you. Well, sprinted into you. Same thing. I was trying to turn my lights on so I could see. got asked in chat, if this is the landing gear, how big is the aircraft going to be? <laughs> Good question. Wow. Uh, that would be uh, epic in one word. Ooh. Yeah, okay. We're going we're gonna to have to switch to the wood panel paint job and call it the same as Bruce Goose. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kyle Bug. Oh... Uh.
Yeah, we're building an ant's not replica. Right, right, okay, that's what we're doing. That thing is crazy. Uh, yep. It lands at one of the airports near my house because the company that... Well, not near my house, but uh, in the region is the company that owns it now and does the cargo running will fly in there every once in a while. Uh -huh. And that's... Uh, it's, it's just a ridiculous airplane. That's the 124, not the 225. Yep. Antonov's the one where the whole front end hinges up, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, so does the C5 Galaxy. There's a few cargo planes that do it, but the, the Antonov 225 is the largest aircraft ever built. It, they built it for the uh, Buran. Wait, larger than the Spruce Goose? Really? The Spruce Goose had, had the largest wingspan. I believe... <laughs> the, the Spruce Goose was like the largest like wooden frame. Yes. But I mean, the Spruce Goose was just to test an idea for airplanes that would come later that would be made out of metal. And then we didn't need them because the war was over. Uh, they're not. They're not getting up to the volumes of the uh, the airships, though, are they? Probably uh, not. Volume, no. Cargo capacity far exceeding. Oh yeah, of course. Which but is then, weird, because you'd think the main advantage of an airship would be its ability to carry lots of weight. I mean, it was at the time yeah. compared to aircraft. Yeah, compared Regular to the flying aircraft. box kites they had at the time, yes. <laughs> but then, then we got Apt things description. like uh, <laughs> that's what they were. <laughs> but then, the the advantage of a zeppelin is that you can kick off the passengers that uh, don't have their tickets just right out the window. I mean, you, you know. can do that with a airplane too. You just gotta, you know, hang on, hold your breath for a little bit. Well, every time I try to open the window in the plane, they won't let me. <laughs> Fun fact, though, uh, airliner doors are made to where you cannot open them at altitude. There's this little pressure plate that has to come in in order to undo the latch, and if the airplane's pressurized, there's there's not a person on the planet that can open that thing. I mean, there might the strongest person on the like some of the strongest people in the world be able to maybe, but it would probably just flip back shut again before they can push it open. Seems like sensible design. What if you need to do the mid-air transfer? Uh, then you, you use a get... different plane. <laughs> then you get the uh, that weird F-111 that they had in... Uh... Oh, what was that movie? Was it called Air Force One? Whatever the... Uh, the, 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 the Harrison Ford one. Yeah. Decision, wasn't it? Executive Decision, yeah. It was such a stupid... The, the Seagal one, wasn't it? Steven Seagal Although, and Kirk. There is a hatch on a 747 on the belly of the plane. It's just inside the nose wheel door, so you'd have to lower the landing gear. Uh, Wasted, have you put down a programmable block yet? Nope. Alrighty, I will sort that out then. Okay. I have our offline storage handled. I will warn you that once we do this, our ability to reverse is severely compromised. Yes. Is there a way... No going back. Is there a way to set up a different set of programmable blocks Actually, to be able to it. control it from the rear? And it, it's, not, it's even simpler than that. The way the script works is it pays attention to the orientation of your cockpit. So oh, literally nice. all we'd need to do is put a cockpit at the other end of the vehicle. Perfect. You get out of one, get in the other, now it drives backwards. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's also, obviously, with this design and the way the hinges and rotors are, there's nothing stopping us from separating it into its separate bits and putting it back together again. Ah, yes. You know, if, uh, we, we, if we really get stuck, you can split the hinges, separate it into its own bits, drive them each independently, and then put it back together as a train. Well, does, on that, we should put some batteries on the rear segment. Yeah, I was just going to say, does the trailer actually have power? The trailer doesn't even have all of its steel welded yet, but I'm working on it. It's got all its wheels welded, though, and apparently the subgrid wheel control script is currently trying to move them. Man, yeah, it I'm glad. probably thinks we're... Uh -huh. um... It's trying to escape like we predicted. <laughs> uh, what I might do 
is set up a wheel group for the first trailer. Not a bad call. Not a bad call. Although I should also therefore adjust the whole thing to have a similar amount of strength. For now. Is that Plunge what I drill can do? activating. We should be getting a whole mess of stone very shortly. Let's toggle them on and off. Ooh, messy stones. Thought that would get your attention. Right. Oh, I've mess turned of off the trailer wheels for now. Oh, whoa! Gunfire. TFE. There's something. Oh, there's three enemy signals. Oh, Carl oh, sir, that's a that's a vehicle. That is. Yeah, it's a vehicle. Yeah, that's a Carl Urban assault vehicle. Oh, it's finally made it to us. It took its time, but it has uh, made it. I it think it might have crashed. Stuck. <laughs> uh, that sounds like free resources. Yep, let's go. I'm on foot. Oh no, I'm out of ammo with my rifle. Oh no. Pistol time. Thanks, Kaya. I can give you, uh, I've, I've got several mags on me. I can give you some. You meet uh, up with me. Oh, good. He is with me. Oh, yeah, we were talking about needing a vehicle. We might be able to steal it. Mm, I don't know how much there's going to be left of it after taking a bunch <laughs> of Gatling fire and then crashing. It's true. Oh. Although we... Uh, although we... Yes, dear? Uh Although we did repair the original drop uh, jalopy, so... Oh, uh, I've got Carmine trying to flank us. Yep. North, northwest. Uh, looks uh, like TFE still at the vehicle. I'm almost to the vehicle. Let's see, you want to meet me the pressure I'm up? Oh! I got deaded. Uh, Dax, I'm with you. How's that? Uh, oh. Damn, it's on, please. I'm dead. Even my melee mode isn't working. Got a hit on my feet. Oh! Oh! What? Oh, he's trying to grind us! Right, the jetpack turns into damper off mode. Ow! Got lefty. I think. I think low. they're respawning on the truck. I'm running. Uh. Yep. They're... I mean, coming towards you. They've got Hello? some sort of bot printer on the truck. Okay. That's uh. all I need to hear. Crazy printing life, you betrayed us. Text them to your left. Got a jet assist on it. I'm on their they truck. Appear to be, uh, I'm taking out the printer. Grinders. I got nice bullets. Keep him occupied. No, no, one of them just spawned next to me. Lefty's down. <clears throat> oh no! Hello. Ah! Ah! Uh -uh. I got stuck in the body. door. Critical. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Someone focus on the survival kit. Well, where is it? It's inside the truck. Would help I, if I wasn't uh, almost out of ammo. Survival kit's down? Yep. Nice. I need to get my stuff. <laughs> Watching Vice didn't have a grinder war. Yeah, I was trying to grind out the survival kit from underneath, uh, and someone spotted me. <laughs> uh, your health uh, is low. Yeah, I got him. Give me my body. 
Why did these robots have names? That's not creepy. Did you just say names? Yeah. Yeah. Have we cleared them? I think so. Is think this ours so. now? I think oh, it is. No, uh, I still see a tag of someone. There's some uh, the dead bodies, bodies inside. are still showing tags. Ah, okay. Uh, There's a whole bunch of pistols here. Yeah. A bunch of pistol ammo. I'm going to grab the pistol ammo and the... Good thing they weren't able to uh, get to the ammo and... Yeah. Uh, looks like we've got a truck, uh, guys. Dibs. <laughs> Didn't know. Yep. Hey, so not all of the bodies here belong to them. Have you got yours? Stuff, yep. Oh, it was empty. Oh, someone took his stuff. Yes. <laughs> um, um, I only grabbed mine. Uh, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't grab any of that. Taking control of one of the oh, cockpit no, I know. blocks, it's but I can't it, control it, anything. It defaulted to the wrong inventory on the right. Yep. I think we have to uh, grind down each of the... Whoa! Okay, it's moving. What? <laughs> yep. I got control. Okay, now bring it back, but don't crash into the main rover. Well, the main rover is going to shoot this thing. Perfect. Oh, yep. All right, let me head back. Also, out. we need to take control of all of the suspensions because I can't mess with the settings. Suspensions, do they have, uh, do they actually have computers now? Uh, they're owned, not by me, so. I think it might be like the thrusters where they're goofy. Yep. I think that was yep. part of the thing of preventing people doing what I've seen people on Wasted Stream do to him many times. Where they uh, yeah. pop the wheels on you. Or override a thruster or whatever. Yeah. So Carl Urban's after it. I do know. I'm honestly thinking that that is giving Keen far too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> it probably... You're right. It probably was an accident and they just haven't fixed it. Yeah, and let's be real. Uh, this has been existing for as long as Space Engineers has, as far as I am aware, with the weird ownership issues. And, uh, yeah, I mean, come on, their idea of uh, EVP protection is we won't let you paint a grid. Yeah, ever. that's true. Uh, okay. Oh, we're moving. Yep. Yeah, this thing is oh, proper wedged in this hole, though. Uh, whoever was driving it should have known better. These robots can't drive very well. Okay. Uh, Are the turrets off at the main grid? No, not yet. No, nope, definitely not. Yeah. I, I, I didn't tell you it was down yet. <laughs> All right. Although I'd warn you, even if he does tell off. you the turrets are off, I don't believe him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's got history. Uh, wow. Multiversal shade. Am I good now? Yes. Uh, let me check since we can't. Let me put it fire. this way: the three Gatling turrets that I have found are off. If oh, anybody added go. additional ones, I'm not responsible. Con uh -oh. Confirm they read off. We're gonna get shot by my secret turret. Not my problem. He named Capax left seat. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would hide it well. Oh. It did. I didn't notice it at all. Ooh. They don't crash into us, okay? Whoa. Hit the brakes. <laughs> there we go. Have fun, peeps. <laughs> I think we just break it down because I don't think we're going to be able to get the everything squared away. Well, I don't think. I think. I think. We might as well keep the, the chassis intact. We yeah. can replace all the vital components. Rather than rather than doing that, let's pretend we have easy NPC takeover. Oh, we can do that. Yeah. I think it's just one of these things that on a stream this Here, is just going to be really what? annoying. I'm going I'm going to hack it for you guys. Yep. Oh, thank you. Yep. I hear you do have those skills. Yep. There we go. It is now safely ours. Which means we can have some Now you can have some fun with it and actually drive it around. There you go. Cargo appears to be full. Oh no, no it's not. Put wings on it. Oh jeez. Uh, 
Those would be batteries, wouldn't they? Did most of Yes, they would be. Have you ordered up the bits for them? I have ordered up the bits for one of them so far. I wonder going to do them one at a time just to be careful we didn't use too much resources, resources that we didn't have. Yeah. Uh, these drills going? Yeah, I'm wondering why it's not moving. Did the drill turn off or get damaged? Um, the pistons are Wait. at their maximum length. Does that say yeah, but there's one piston supposed to contract. And gets yeah, it one was more. going the wrong way. Does that say uh, okay. assert that was a and drill thing. inhibitor field? And it's also off. I don't uh, know why that happened. Hold on, I'm still getting a target indicator on something on the on this vehicle. Oh, no, you yeah, you will, because I don't think we own it all yet. We just turned the turret off for the time being. No, no, I I used uh can oh right fair access to terminal terminal and changed it all. He hacked. Uh, you didn't change the wheels. Incomplete, incomplete. Oh, yeah, is it the wheels? No, they're just incomplete. Is it one of the incomplete blocks? It might be. Uh, so I'm getting a target. It looks like it's on one of the cockpits. Because wheels don't actually have an ownership segment to them, there is no way of changing wheel ownership through the control panel. No amount of usual terminals will fix it. Uh, yeah, the only way to do it is copy paste with uh, out keep oh. initial ownership on. Okay, mm -hmm. it's one of the it's one of the batteries. Oh, you sort yeah. it out, come back. We'll never we'll never be able to control those wheels, unfortunately, unless we do something about it. Because yeah, they're, uh, they're owned by me now, and I can control them. Oh, cool. Okay. Excellent. And I've got them shared with you guys. Uh, so. Okay, how's our cargo? Uh, it's it's okay. Okay, I will reverse all the drills. Yeah, we've got like four or five of them, still empty. So, yeah, so you're going to reverse everything and then we'll do another plunge. Yeah, I'm going to push a button. How deep are you getting, do you? Uh, like I got 20 triple meters? pistons. Yeah, 20 meters-ish. I think I actually hit that nickel. Ah. Yeah, because I was just thinking if we trundle forward, the iron's only 30, oh, only 20 ow. meters down. No, why? What did you do, what? Cat Pack? I fell in the mining hole and got drilled. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> don't don't do that. <laughs> yeah, D, just let me know when the drills are done, and Capac can move the Carl Urban, and I'll move forward because I reckon we can hit the iron. I think you've made it long enough. Uh, I might have. I will get my health back to full too. So, Wasted, you look deep in thought as to what to do with this trailer. Uh, not particularly. I was um, briefly explaining to my stream how Build Planner works because some of them ah. hadn't seen it before. Uh -huh. And now I'm waiting for power cells for that battery. Uh, and then I think like, that's yeah. about it for this trailer outside of if we want to start loading it up with storage and whatnot. I can't remember yeah. Keen's key press for emptying my build. Alt, alt middle mouse. Alt. But, oh, emptying your inventory is alt middle mouse. If you want to empty your no. build, the only way to go there is to press G and right click on it in the corner. Okay. The drill is clear of the hole. All right, I'm going to delicately drive forward. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. Well, you need to get out of the way. I did mention that earlier. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that because this drill is very much in the ground. Oh. Oh, yeah, that one too. <laughs> Good point, Capac. <laughs> I'll accept that. One one point to Capac door. <laughs> yep. Uh, Why is he a door now? Because uh, I am the Cause, way. Because he's a griffin? Because he's not opaque. Okay. He's more of a phoenix, really. Alright, now my handbrakes are off and I'm going Ooh, forward. What the? 
Why did that not work? Uh, should we put a large car container on the rear uh, trailer? Um, I think we may... Like, I know there's some convenience in having a large one, but I think the weight distribution of smalls might make them better. I'm able to park. Reversing drill. Um... Uh, how do I park if I can't park? Uh, press P? Uh, yeah, it just says unable to park. Hop out, hop out of your cockpit. Well, I, I don't want to hop out of the cockpit because it keeps rolling backwards. Yeah, I'm, I'm right here to grab, to get straight back in. I've turned on the right. handbrake. I turned it on manually in the cockpit. I can't help but notice that the vehicle seems to be moving a lot. Uh, we better yeah, shoot yeah, it, yeah. just to be sure. Yep. Open fire! weird there is a setting on wheels these days to toggle whether or not they're allowed to use the handbrake i wonder if uh, yes, the so parking off. brake was off yeah the, okay, whether or done. not they're even allowed to, to park if i remember right Pro yeah so that's there, there's probably a, uh, for both yeah i have fixed it okie dokie uh so should we I was thinking this rear trailer, why don't we try and get some of these planes going and maybe just make a simple flight deck? Uh... Just so that we can get some ultralights, something that's just simple. Like, really... Not meant for oh. fighting, meant for scouting, so that we can have something up in the air to give us eyes over where we're going to go. Well, and, and overwatch for when we're sitting in one place. Yeah, yeah. I not do a like that idea. I do like that one purple block survived on the trailer. <laughs> um, and what I was thinking we could do if we're going to do that is just just because I, I, wa I want to know whether it's actually possible to make this work with just a straight up runway. Um, we just need some way to get the vehicle from the runway to a lower deck so it's undercover when the acid rain comes. Uh, Clockwork had a great idea. Rotating runway. With, that's made out yeah, of yeah but that's uh, huge it's <laughs> so elevated I, I kind of uh, like the idea of a small lift off to the side okay how are you going to move your, your vehicle what do you mean you're just going to use its wheels on a, on a moving on a grid that can move or might be moving yeah okay <laughs> why not okay are you afraid of fun D? I am not afraid I, it, of fun. I, it did kind of sound like he was afraid of fun. It did, didn't it? I, I'm sure we were totally in error. <laughs> you know, I'm the one with the most fun paint color, okay? Clearly not afraid of fun. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it? Yeah, uh, most fun. Did that reach the eye? There. That did reach I don't know, straight short through distance it. between de decorative okay, and uh, abomination. Did you say decorative? Mm hmm. Decorative? Yep. Okay. Alright, we're, we're looking alright for resources, so. I think we can build a deck. No, decorative, pertaining to the removal of cores. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! What the? What just happened? I touched a piston and then was rubber banded about <laughs> half a kilometer in each direction and then was no longer rubber banding and now there's a random block that has fallen off the grid. Nice. Cool. That's like a good time. Everything's fine, I guess. That was weird. Uh, I think that's that one. Oh yeah, thanks for the reminder chat. Why do I have so many tools? I don't need all these tools. But there's no cargo for that. Ow. Uh. Okay. 
Yes. Oh. How did this... Okay, I think it was like that. How much space do you guys reckon we need underneath the runway? Mm, better. Um, or do we try and make if you? So, uh, how big of a runway are you thinking? Something that can actually just take off and land on the length of the deck? Yeah. Uh, with the amount of wing you're gonna need, you'll need a side deck elevator. Yeah. Okay, and it's gonna need to be really wide. Or have wings that hinge into place. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would advise hinging and merging into place. Because yeah. when they don't, when they're, it's all separate grid, the grid's like, nah, rolling's not for me, no thanks. Yeah, that was weird. I completely lost all my roll authority when I was testing that. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something simple to begin with. I'm just gonna build a cover on one end of the deck. A cover? What do you mean? So yeah, so it'll be a runway, but there'll be a roof over the end of it. That sounds like a way to crash, but I am excited. Let's do it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? You could have you could have like a uh, like a deployable roof, so that um, you like open it so that you can take off and land, and then you, you close it so that whatever's on the runway is protected. Uh, One thought I'm having. Yeah. Uh, do we want to potentially, if we're going to do this, have the whole runway on a rotor so it can turn? I know, I know you don't want to do the flip thing because it ends up large. Mm. I'm mm -hmm. thinking spinny. rotate horizontally, spinny, so that if the landing goes wrong, they just go off the end into the terrain, I like rather it. than goes off the end into the front into car the of our vehicle. Yes. Yeah. No, that that seems that seems like a great idea. That seems entirely. Oh, so so instead of landing lengthwise, you're landing sideways this way. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. At least that way we avoid potential accidents, or at least some of them. <laughs> I think the worst possible case scenario is is not that we lose the small grid, but the small grid goes plowing through the large grid at the front. <laughs> yes. No, right. oh, that seems like a very sensible uh, adjustment to the plan. I'm also going to make it conveyed. Fuel low. Yeah, why not? That was just just a thought before we got too far. I was like, hmm, I can see lots of ways this goes wrong. How many of them can we minimize? <laughs> like the okay, do we do we still want more uh, resources here, or are we getting close to full up? Uh, I think we are full up, so if you wait for it to get processed, then we can do one more plunge before we depart. Then I'm going to throw a, uh, a stone ejector on the other side. Uh, stone hmm. gravel ejector. Did I get somebody to throw me something else? Like a bottle? Never mind. I see a drill coming up. Uh, Wasted, how high do you think I should go? Should I go one block lower than that? It's getting pretty tall. It is. Maybe, yeah. So I wanted to leave enough room for cargo and stuff underneath, but. Didn't want to go so high that it was getting silly. And defeating the purpose of avoiding the flippy. Because it'll flop around a bit, yeah, as well. And we might end up wanting upside down landing gear on the deck to hold that in position when we're moving. Uh, yep. Yep. Agreed. That was weird. I just. I think all my Go XLR stuff just crashed and rebooted. I. Everybody's coming through my speakers for a second. Mm. Should I go one block lower still, Wasted? Oh, that'll be a bit clangy. Potentially. Yeah, uh, no, if it bounces around. No, I think that's about as low as we can go. Yep. Uh, I guess we go with half slabs rather than full blocks as well. 
Probably how well this up to. Even the survival kit is full of stone. <laughs> We should use panels on the ends. I think we should stick with the thicker blocks because panels can have some funny collisions things with wheels. Um, there's a higher chance that we'll clip through them than if we have a full block, from what I've seen. I don't know if Dan Ways have had a different experience than that. I'd buy it. This sounds legit. I've not had the experience, but I have done much landing on plates so, or driving on plates. So, yeah. Yeah. Sounds sounds about right. Yeah. Oh. What could possibly go All wrong? All these new angle blocks, and he still makes something that there isn't one for. Yep. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <Arr. laughs> uh, whatever. Just gonna. I'm just gonna do this then. Is your Shooting? Uh, didn't hear anything here. Mm, okay. Uh, how long do I make this? How many blocks have I got? One, two, three, four, six. Well, this rover is functional. Just a few bits of armor, but... Are you going to put a gear underneath uh, to lock it in place? Uh, possibly. Probably. I'll put a mag lock down somewhere. Oops. And should this end up failing which it may, um, my next suggestion would be we instead build some sort of um, plane loading system with an arm that pick go, reaches down, picks planes up off the ground and loads them onto the vehicle. Ah, uh, yeah. Hold and on. then we just yep. do landing and take off from the ground instead. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I was yeah. on board with that. Plane carrier work. style. What if we put a mag lock on the end of this and spun it really fast? Uh, that might work, actually. I vote Capac tests it. Yeah, I vote that's I think, not the first thing we do because it sounds terrifying. Scott Manley Maybe. just did a video about launching rockets into space using Spin a launch. similar system. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I quite enjoyed it because it was um, someone like like retweeted it or tweeted it at Marek and be like, oh no, it might even have been Marek himself who like, yeah. would love to see this in Space Engineers. It's like, but Marek, Space Engineers has a flat speed limit of 100 meters a second. It doesn't work. <laughs> I was like, um, you do know your own game isn't capable of reproducing this, right? You think he knows his own game? That's the funniest part. Look, it's going to be a feature in Space Engineers Noir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, first, we've got to get the promised glazing in Space Engineers 1. And the Femme Fatales. Femme definitely rock, needs rock, 100% paper, shotgun Femme promised Fatales. me joining and glazing. And I ain't seen none of it. But why are we talking about pottery? Because that's under the reviews on the Steam store page for Space Engineers. Space Engineers oh, makes yeah, welding, joining, and glazing seem like the best jobs in the world. It looks superb. That, Rock, paper, That shotgun. review from like seven years ago. Yeah. It I wasn't mean, a review. It was a press release about their pre-release trailer. The guy never played it, but it's on their main page as a review. Nice. <laughs> Interesting. As a, as a review that mentions things you can't do in the game. <laughs> like joining and glazing. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds pretty glazing to me. I feel like being a glazier in the Space Engineers universe would be the worst thing ever. Nothing you Laser do is cannon. ever made right. Well, not, but at least consistent work. I mean, 
You're think... never gonna be out of work as a glazer in space engineers. I don't think there's a, a get terrible ever reviews, a single survival game where clay is easy to find. Hey. Mm. Mm. Seven days to die, clay is easy to find. Is it? Yep. Yeah, oh, I guess it's a brown spot on the No, grass. no, it's everywhere now. It yeah, is. Oh, that's over. what the glazing yeah. and joining is. The glazing is your eyes when you're waiting for it to join the server. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's perfect. Oh, dear. Oh. Yeah, who is making 2,000 small steel tubes? I have no, no idea. Not I. And it's no, not 2,000, it's 4,000, actually. Yeah, no, 4, I, what the heck? I haven't queued up anything in a while. It's those darned <laughs> glazers. Oh, that's right, I need a toast for my pottery wheel. <laughs> Oops. Oh. I may have removed something that had a bunch of stone. Everything's got a bunch of stone right now. I know. Alright, um... Okay. Oh, we've almost got a runway. Yeah, okay, the cryo so, chamber was full of stone. The figure. Uh, yeah, like I said, everything's full of stone. Who's having a nap? Have we oh. actually got this thing to the state? Because we might have done at the moment where it actually Whoa. can't process because we have no space. Uh, I'm awesome. adding space. Frantically. Uh, I was trying to add cargo containers, but I ran into a stone, stone problem. Or if somebody could pick up my stone, I would be happy to add a cargo container for it. There's no way we we're going to be able to carry all of that in our inventories. Yeah. If anybody could just remove this stone, it would be awesome. I don't know. I, yeah, don't, we can. I don't know where Texas is. Who needs 1,400 construction How components? How can I carry two point four? Um, those numbers don't make sense, but we'll ignore that. Right. Um, no. DE, perhaps yes. stop adding cargo there and maybe run a line down to the back and add some there. Okay. Just because that's going to get real heavy real fast and not yep. be balanced. I, the ideal place for the large cargo container that I would love to put here is right here. Um, yeah, but then the rotor would have been higher. Yeah, is it, I don't think it's going to make a difference. And honestly, higher runway is better. No, because the runway is really heavy. You're making it out of light armor, right? Yeah, it's still really heavy. Um, you could... A new container that I just made is already full. Uh, DE, why not? You can, could, can You could take out the armor blocks in the middle here and have a large cargo container in line with this these things. Oh, I was going to... I was going to put it, like, right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, you also can't go down a block. Because the wheels will hit it. Oh. Uh, alright. They That's need to be smart. half blocks. So you can't build a large cargo. Ah, okay. Just what about... forget about the large cargo. No, no. Uh, two... Large cargo is the best kind of cargo container. No, two large cargo side saddle. Like, uh... Oh, yeah, that might work. Here, right here. Yeah. Uh... Like that. Yeah, perfect. Oh. It's between the wheels. Look so it's at the gonna... conveyor, though. What about the conveyor? It's lined up perfectly with the other conveyor. Exactly. No, no, no. no. He means he means the this. one that's in the runway for refueling. One that's in the. That Spin it real quick. That should Spin be it. fine if the rotor zip Ooh, makes extension. I'm getting away. It is. I'm getting away. Spin it. But I'm. <laughs> I, like on a server, I always give myself more free space than I would Maximum in a single player speed. game. Single player I'd do this without any crimes whatsoever, but on a server, it can get sketchy. Ow! What just Happy train time! Goodbye to the runway! Oh everything's dying! 
<laughs> wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Retract the guns. Oh my god, what the hell? Ow, ow, ow. I'm retracting the pistons. Yep, okay, good. Mate, retract faster. <laughs> Wow, I'm glad I welded up some of the runway. <laughs> oh, protect the oh, hitch, protect the range. hitch. Yep. The armor panels do not seem to be taking any damage. They do, it's just slow. Okay, the only bit of the hitch that seems to be a real problem is the head of the rotor. Ah. I did do a quick weld as I was running past before as well. Was there a hole in the floor? Because we were placing things, and then we weren't. <laughs> That's a load-bearing floor hole. Are we clear? Good news, though. Large cargo container survived. It was protected by... What remains of the runway? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Only the bits that I got welded up. What, what's the deal with those conveyor blocks on the runway? What, what are they meant to be doing? They're there because we're going to need to refuel the planes. But do we really need seven? Would, wouldn't just one be uh, enough? Balanced, and we'll need a connector that's not dead center of the runway. Oh, I guess that makes sense. But, okay, wouldn't it wouldn't it make more sense to have the conveyor line be down the middle of the runway? It is. No, no, but uh, lengthwise, not. Uh... I did think about that, but then I thought I'd have to place a whole lot more blocks that way. Notice our um, newly acquired ride is steaming a little in the sun after its. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> where'd where'd Capac park it? Uh, it's back here you on the ice. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> just drying off. Sun's come out, you know how it is. Critical. It's, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> well, we, we don't need the lights. Low health. Uh, can some is the lift drill down? Uh, it is up. Oh, one of our lights is smoking on our base. Okay, it's really annoying that I can't empty the guild planner, the build planner, without going into the menu. Uh, good news, everyone! Yeah? What is uh, it? There's a survival kit on the little rover, so if you run out of hydrogen, you can refill uh, oh, well, the rover now. Oh, has it got some ice on board? Yeah. Oh, nice. Why aren't my hydrogen tanks refilling? They don't from the survival kit. I don't have that mod. What? No, I'm at the med bay. Yeah, they don't. That's a mod that did that what? when we were playing Escape from Pokemon. You got, you got to put them in the uh, yeah, in the got... inventory of the thing we got. How rude. I'm going to place and weld as I go this time. Good plan. Yeah. Uh, I don't rain that often. No, fortunately not. <laughs> I didn't think it, I didn't think any of us would have fun if the uh, weather was frequent. But for uh, random whoa moments though. Oh yeah. I mean, we kind of supply those on our own, don't we? Mm, we do. Like, for example, watching the entire runway collapse on Split C's head. <laughs> <laughs> From I mean, a particularly good viewpoint as well. Oh, nice. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh,
Oh. Capac. You've yeah. got your little rover ready, yeah? Uh, I guess so, yeah. There is an assert base in the direction we want to head. Uh, do you want to prep it for going and taking on that base? Also, uh, Capac, please don't place 50 billion lights. We need them. How are we going to see the runway in the fog? Well, we're not going to see it because it'll all be flickering. Yeah, that'll make it stand out. Um, I don't know. Are we going to arm this? I, I don't think we should arm it. I guess if we're going to go check out a thing, then all I need for the rover is a crew. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. If anyone wanted to go and take out this observer base, we could do that. There's a little I mean, crew we, in the back of the thingy. If we're taking it out, we're going to need to put a gun on it. I don't know. There's enough of us in a survival kit. Yeah, we got lots of guns. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, <laughs> corpse number 39. <laughs> well, we got a lot of guns up that thing. Probably ought to throw some back in the rover. Uh, there are seats down in the uh, personnel transport compartment room. One, two, three, four, five. Who else is coming on a mission? Uh, I'm gonna come. I'll, I'll tag along. Oh, uh, let me, uh, drop. Wasted sounds like he's out of ammo. Do we need to leave somebody with the vehicle, or are we all going? I reckon we can all pile out. That'll be fine. I'm right. just thinking about what bad thing could happen. All right, I'm going to rearm the Gatlings then. Good plan. Uh, yeah, it's still not dry yet. Okay, they're on. Are they shooting anything? No, I don't hear any shooting. gunfire. So Make we'll sure you find send out. the pistons too. We'll find out when I drive past them. All right, I've finished the runway, so it's there. Uh, is Wasted loaded up with you guys? Uh, he was. I think he went back for ammo. Yep, I'm going to manufacture some. I got 13 mags. So he might be muted? I haven't heard from him in a bit. Yeah, he's muted. Muted space. <laughs> I love that text and I did that at the same time. Uh, does anyone need any MR50A magazines? Yes, probably. Careful when greebling around the ship that you aren't making our legs way weaker when doing so. I was intentionally trying to make sure that everywhere was two blocks thick. So that if a block gets destroyed, it's still got a block left. It is no longer two blocks thick everywhere. Uh oh. Yeah. There are two blocks. They're just not blocks. Not connected. No, oh, they're, they're connected. Look at all that well, a lot of them are catwalks, isn't... aren't they? So they should be okay. Yeah. This is not connected in two places. This is one block thick here. Which one? Where is it? Yeah. Okay. The one. The one spot. Everything else is connected. Yeah, but if, if, <laughs> as soon as one spot is only one block thick, that's where it'll break because it's only one block thick. The um these side bits work. This will work because the catwalks have connections on the side. Let's go. Yes, I don't know why they have connections on the side. I don't know what you're welding onto, but yes, they do. The terrain yeah. is pretty rough. Yeah. Seems like this thing handles it okay. Thanks, Doug. The only thing doesn't handle is uh, being driven into Gatling fire. Maybe we'll have to do that as a Please. Christmas special. Yeah, there you go. All right, I'm ammoed up. I am not. I'm fixing All the right. fatal flaw before it does something, and then I have to listen to what I told you. So. See my profit. <laughs> there we go. I hate to say I told you so. No, no, no. Nobody in this group hates to say I told you so. That's true. That's true. It is lots of fun to say I told you so. Oh, boy. Apparently, D is in danger of having the wind blow his power out. Huh? That's what the weather report says. Weather report? All right. All right. I'm right. in the shotgun seat. All righty. Just waiting on two more of the assault crew. 
So Capac, remember, keep us outside of gun range so we got to spawn. Okie dokie. But you should be able to get fairly close, I hope. Hopefully this one's only got alternatively light turrets. We could just ram it with the truck and that'll probably take out the turret. Well, I mean, we've got all this smoke as cover, so... DE, what it's happened last really time you gave Capac an idea? What do you mean, give him an idea? I didn't give him any ideas. Mm. Do it! Do it! Do it! No, I said full <laughs> impulse power. <laughs> That's all I said. Uh, wasted? And he would have landed that if he hadn't hit the tree. Yeah, I was just making some rounds and getting confused as to why it's... Oh, with the cooperative setup. Right, okay, I see. We have um, multiple assemblers? We have multiple I... assemblers, and the one on the bottom has got, like, half of our construction queue in it that doesn't have anything to make it with. Huh. Oh, I realized we had another one. I would have just gone with speed modules. I don't think it's pulling fully, or yeah. something. I don't know. It might be full inventory-wise. Uh, That's right. I'll just something's keep... going on with I, it anyway. I feel like your suspension's a little weak there, Capac. You're dragging your rear wheels. That's oh, fine. I'm doing... Sick burnouts. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Has everyone that other chairs fine, enough for everybody? You are there should be. so silent. It's ridiculous, the reality. Yeah, I'm not hearing any vehicle noises. That's because vehicle noises vehicle. don't come from the wheels. We, 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 we're, a, we're EV. That is true. Yep. We're very friendly to the environment. Look at all the smoke we're not... Oh, wait. Mm. Where are we going? <laughs> uh, to our deaths, probably. Yep. Well, I mean, that's pretty on how specific. I mean, we probably we're could have moved the base a little bit closer as well. But oh well. We're doing this now. Uh, how are you guys doing on the trailer? I think the trailer's mobile now. It's just yeah. uh, the cargo system isn't welded up fully. Yeah, it's like a real military operation. Oh, this yeah, bit on the, the top opening. looks the bigness until you figure out that the vehicle is this big uh, and the space engineer can barely see over the top. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised that the person with the highest ping is also the one standing loose on the vehicle. <laughs> uh, means as I soon mean, as Capac hits a tree, you're dead. I don't yeah, hit probably. trees, that's your shtick. Fine, I mean, as soon he... as Capac bottoms out and insta-stops. I'm glutton for punishment, I'm usually the host, so every now and then we need to make sure that I experience the fullness. <laughs> yeah, the fullness of the rear bumper. Three kilometers to the target. Uh, don't worry, guys. I do have a GPS for where the base is. That rear area is just begging for... Or do I? Like a Gatling. Maybe I don't. Or... Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Come on. You can do it. Better we Are we letting Capac drive again? Yeah. yeah. He was told to by Splitzy again. There we go. So who's okay. really the villain of the piece? Well, who's the more foolish? The fool or the fool who follows him? I'd say the fool who's in the damn truck right now. So all of us? Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Five fools riding to glory. <laughs> It is a really quiet ride. He's disturbingly quiet. I feel like I've got no game Hold sense. On. I might be able to do something about that. Oh no. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go ahead and turn up your uh, your summit. Oh. You are unlimited, sir. Go for it. Oh, see, I'm. That's encouragement right there. No, no, but is it? Did that work? I put the yeah, engine they're on. on. They're on. Is it making engine noises? I can't it hear is. anything. It is. Okay. Um. It was just changing the wheel settings, don't worry. Fine. Oh, I was doing the same. 
Also, oh, never never use unlimited. Always use whatever the 306 or 359, yeah. whatever the tick down from unlimited is. It stops the wheels from going slightly haywire. Yeah. Alright, we're not too far from oh. uh, <laughs> I lost a bit of the mud guard. That's alright, it was just extra parts. You managed not to kill wasted, so that's the bit I'm more impressed by. For now. Yeah. Alright, we're approaching. Drop I'll stay behind us, Rise. Yeah, I'd leave yeah. it here. <laughs> oh, this is. I've got to read this. Capac is pretty Sorry. useful. Whenever you feel like you're making progress too fast, just let Capac drive a vehicle. Good chance you end up with an hour more of content. Whoa! What was that? I Something went off. Ah, uh, maybe somebody's shooting at us. All right, well, All right. what the? I'm what off. The, Something the? just fell to the ground over there. Yeah, I just Target. saw that. Target left. Oh, that was I think it's a. Uh, That's an unknown signal, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think so. we just had like a whole bunch of unknown signals arrive at once because I just saw one in the distance as well. Oh. Okay. Free stuff, I guess. Can you see the observer from up there, Kamak? No. Yeah, I was just shooting oh. at something. Oh! Ow! I think it can see you. Yep. <laughs> and it's one bullet got me in the head. I, just, I didn't even get... It was just out dead. Looks like, uh, yeah, we can approach down the side here. Yep. Oh, it likes oh. me up here. Sounds oh. splitsy's body. What? Inhibitor field has disabled hand drills? Yep. What is this cruel and unusual punishment? <laughs> this is uh, Space Engineers, the best first person shooter ever made. Alright, what is, is a, it? There's a lot of cover on this hillside to the left. What's it shooting at? I forgot that Probably I put the me. drill inhibitors on these. Definitely me. Drills is yeah. the bit I don't get. So you Why can't drills? just drill under the base. Yeah, but the realities of just drilling under the base is it's actually not as easy as it sounds. Firstly, it's, it's very signal. hard to come up in the right position. Secondly, the second you stick your head out, you better be damn certain there isn't a turret with line of sight, because if it does have line of sight, you're dead. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so that's why you get you get within oh, five meters of the surface. Speaking of which, and Ooh. lay down a large uh, lay down a large warhead and then boom. Okay, well. Okay, where are these turrets? Oh, yep, I see. Um, oh. Oh. What? Oh. Splitsy saying, oh, like he didn't expect that. No, I didn't. That That's not... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Bullseyed me. <laughs> yeah, it did. Uh... Hmm. Oh, I got a hit on it. Can I get close enough to so get reliable hits on those turrets? Yeah, it's because we're using these rapid fire rifles, which are. Uh, They're still hybrid. better than the default one. Yeah. I mean, accuracy wise, no. Is it just the one large turret on there? Uh, no, there's multiple small turrets. I don't see any large turrets at all. Ooh, hold oh, up. I'm not, get, I'm not getting my body back. Oh, and I'm down again. Uh, I'm maybe round is not our best idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that one out. Ow! There. Dang it. I think one of those turrets is on a half-built block, so we should be able to take it out. I don't know what I'm hitting. I'm hitting something, but it could be anything down there. Ah. Okay. Oh, dang it. Alright, um... <laughs> I think... 
I think we're going to have to use our jetpacks to get our stuff back. Uh, what was that? That sounded like a deep boom. Oh! Uh, got multiple drones. Oh, dear. 4K oh, uh, and, and approaching. Oh, yeah, the wasp is almost here. Mad, mad fly. Oh, no. Mad fly and mosquito. I'm down. Uh, do we maybe have to go back to the base now? I think we might. Yeah. Let's oh. say our, our glorious assault has not gone well. My precious belongings. <laughs> the we'll cow belongings it. are gone. I think the wasp ah. is stuck <laughs> on the mountain. It's possible. Nope, it's not. It's not. It's not. Run away! Oh! I was at my stuff. <laughs> so close. Uh, this is all gone. Um, well. Run. Well? <laughs> Five fools run oh, through dear. the Valley of Green, fearing Capax driving, for they shall know death. When and where shall it come? Oh, Only Capax drone knows. shooting me. Thanks, Mandy and Fred. Oh God. Ah, no. What have I done? Yeah. Capac, I think it's time to drive. Drive. Yep. Don't leave me behind. Ow. Capac, what have you done? What? Don't close what? the door. Ah, the cockpit's gone. Oh, no. Goodbye. What did you turn off? Did you turn this thing off? No, I think the bullets turned it off. No, I couldn't drive from the cockpit that was still there. That's a passenger seat. Oh, did you use the passenger seat wrong? Oh. So we got no cockpit. Yep. Well, Capax Rover was long lived. Yep. That's still got a survival kit in it. <laughs> Not for long. I think we might want to fly back to our base. <laughs> Yeah, I can keep shooting at the cert drone with a uh, pop gun, but I don't think it's going to do much. Nope. Well, especially as your pop gun has a maximum range of 400 meters and it's 545 meters up. Yep. That's our base. Okay, That's, what's our base? Lake. No. Oh no, I'm about to run out of fuel. This is going to be Where's painful. Where's our base? It's going to be real painful. Fuel critical. Ow. Oh, I'm dead. Well, I made it back to the base. I, I, I pulled a splitzy as well. I just mm. hear, as, as you're like, this is going to be painful, I hear fuel low. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> yep. Uh, if somebody could send me a GPS, that'd be great. There you oh, go. and make sure that the uh... well, that didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, make sure that uh, the Gatlings are on because it looks like it may fly. Maybe oh no, I took the wrong ammo. To the ship. I think the Mayfly is just a cargo ship. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Oh, uh, okay. Well, and there's the wasp overhead too. And I know yeah, the wasp was the one I thought was really going to kill us. Uh, so there. He's he's headed straight for you. So. Oh, yep. Delightful. Wasp inbound. Gatling should be on, but it wouldn't hurt to confirm. Uh, I'm sitting in the top one. Oh, it's freaking out. It's just flipping over itself. Uh, it's no longer approaching. Okay. What is it doing? It's very excited it's murdered a rover. Oh. Uh, is everyone back at the base? Soon nope. loop the loops. Nope, I'm still running. Oh. Uh, oh, something came over here and shot at us. And depending on how long we are here for, I did take out all the wind oh. turbines on that base, so it will eventually run out of power. The wasp. <laughs> is still slowly spiraling towards us. Okay, uh, let's drive and meet Tex, I guess. 1.6, 1. 1.5. 1. Loop the loop. 
I am 2.85 away from you. My heading is south south. We go. 1.5, 1 1.4, 1.4. <laughs> oh, I just saw it. I don't know why it didn't twig for me before, but I just saw Texas cow paint on the right hand side. Now, of the road. it's worth noting that we definitely oh. came under attack or something while we were gone. Yep. Because your back end A looks like it's locked, but B is missing a wheel. Mm, In fact, it. it doesn't look like the script is working at all currently. Those back wheels are not trying to help. I did have to that looks more like it. block off temporarily. Yeah. Uh, the wasp is almost in attack range. Yeah, it is. No, I'm heading for the wasp. Our guns aren't engaging. They are now. One isn't. That's because Capex is probably it's in it. It's sitting just outside range. No, the, well. the right hand pistoled one doesn't seem to be shooting. Oh! Right hand piston one doesn't have it's a line of sight because it can't lay aim low enough down. Uh, the left oh. hand piston was blocked by the piston contraption on the side. Okay, it's still flying. I don't think it's a threat anymore. Ooh. And it's still doing loop the loops. Uh, wasted. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just driving this without me having any chance to tweak or make sure that the settings were good probably wasn't the best plan. There it goes. Um. I haven't even like adjusted the rotors. Like some of the rotor and one of the hinges is still on. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Guys. <laughs> like it really I'm, wasn't I'm, ready I'm, to drive away. <laughs> I'm 1.8 out. Don't drive. You know what, we also um, currently missing a wheel. You need to turn steering off on the back trailer. Uh, I need to yep. adjust the rotor hitches. All right. The wheels are off. The uh, programmable lock is off. We are parked. Cool. I don't Can see you a add problem. The missing wheel. Jordan, Thanks we so need much, Michael. Up and start the rotors. Uh, uh, now that we're moving again, do you want me to remove this piston rig on the side, or should we just leave it for now? Uh, I, I don't mind. I don't have an opinion. I have returned. I'm sure, something will make sure it gets removed at some point. Indeed. Uh, and of course, the truly terrifying bit. I have to set rotor limits. Oh boy. Ah yes. It was good knowing you guys. It's current. Uh, we, we might be alright. It says current angle 2. That's what we're looking for. Yes, what it we is. will want to see is current angle 358 or something like that. That's that's where we're in trouble. I think, didn't we work out last time after chat told us? I feel like we could turn the rotor lock on then make the changes, then turn rotor lock off. And it didn't explode, or something like that. I feel like that was part of our answer. It doesn't sound very fun. Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> okay with the ride not exploding. That, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Me too. Uh... Huh. I have never felt particularly confident doing rotor limits in survival because they yeah. just seems so random whether or not it decides it's going to go, hmm, boom time. <laughs> well, the, the other yeah. thing um, I think we did last time was I was local hosting by the time we were having those problems, so I was able to do stuff just no one else could. Mm -hmm. uh, so... What are we going to do with this thing for a roof? Do we attempt what Capac was suggesting and have a hingeable roof? Mm -hmm. Oh, we could do it like a clamshell. Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't have to be one piece. You could have like two, like, swing down doors or... Well, yeah, I'm think. Well, I'm, what I'm thinking is hinges off the two conveyors on the side and have L-shaped doors that come together and meet in the middle. Alright, so the whole spinny thing on top will then have doors mounted to it? Hmm. That does seem dangerous. 
I mean, go for it. It'll be fun. <laughs> I feel like... I'm not I, afraid of fun. I feel like we should... Um, I kind of want to see if we can even land safely if I just make a static roof first. Yeah, gullwing. That's what I was meaning. Well, I guess you could just put, like, a hanger on... Oh, well, I guess you don't want it to be unbalanced, though. I was going to say, you could put a hanger on, like, one end of the runway. So just make, like, a closed-up section. Planning. That's what he was planning originally. Yeah, do we do want it. to get some accurate rifles instead of all these, uh... Rapids? Well, or just I went... elites? We can't get elites. We don't have the platinum. No, but there's oh, the, right. um... What about the precise ones, though? The precise have such a low rate of fire that they're next to useless. Uh... But you can go for them if I'll you want. I'll take a precise one. It's raining. It's uh, not acid rain, though, thankfully. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel painful when I stick my tongue out, so I think it's just regular <laughs> rain. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to break down some of these rifles then. If we can make a couple of good ones. I was permitted to uh, set the rotor limits without the rotor exploding. Yay! What sort of angle limits did you put on? Uh, just 15 for now. It doesn't need much yeah. of in that direction, but it needs a bit. But it also needs those limits in place to stop it from rolling itself, flipping the back trailers when you try and do angles. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's usually about the limit that I put on. Right as well. So it's got like but no no oh. limits on the other stuff because it doesn't really need it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just turned around here let in my know, dog. Let me know when you're finished finish making stuff because I was about to disassemble with uh, assembler three. Ooh, kingly pistols. Yeah, there were a bunch of those. So oh yeah, you might I be able to break those. Yeah. No, I was I was gonna leave those. We have large car containers now. Hooray! Let's try not to fill them, because then we won't be able to move. That's just when we add power. Watching the runway section bounce all over the place on my screen is very reassuring. I'm sure it's... Yeah. <laughs> It's really comforting. It's It helps that we don't have share inertia tensors, so we can't do things to make stuff like that. Uh, I do. I have it. Oh, I do have it. It's going to be random, yes or no. It's going to be random based on loads. Like, yeah. sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Yeah. I don't know what the glitch is or why it does it. gotten 10 kilometers from the welcome center thanks so much akrima <laughs> true also built yeah a lot mess yep we have built a mess i definitely contributed to this mess i mean it's always a mess when you got several people building one thing yeah it's the best way uh do you want me to break down the drill or leave it there for now as I said before, dealer's choice. Out of mind. Mm. It is nice to get all that stuff real fast. I'll leave it for now, and then if we have a problem, I'll, we can just eject the piston and <laughs> jettison yeah. it. Yeah, just make sure that the drill's weighted off to the outside, so when you eject the piston, it'll fall away from us. You can put some separate trons on it. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yes, Kanajashi, I am adding a roof to a, run a runway on a rotor that is on a trailer that is attached by a two rotor, uh, a rotor and two hinges. That sounds like Kanajashi doesn't like fun. <laughs> no, I think he's just trying to go, Ooh. given the contraptions I've seen him do. So, 
Yeah. You're planning to land on uh, this yeah. with a roof on it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're gonna. It's. Yep. These pillars right here are gonna see a lot of airplanes. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I really think. I really think the seaplane tender uh, approach would have been better to start with. Oh, you gotta start yeah, with the bad ideas. This gorgeousness. Ah, uh, yes. <sighs> hey, at least we got our slanted deck. I mean, I, I, I've just... got an answer for this as well. You just need another rotor or a hinge. Say what now? And then you hinge the whole roof open when it's landing time. Oh, and yeah, hinge yeah, the yeah. roof yeah. back into place when it's time to protect the ships. I was, I was thinking that. Like, that's what I was saying, like gullwing doors. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, no, a bit in the middle. Because I'd probably just not put one wall on. Oh, yeah, that's true. You could just have it. For simplicity's off. sake, you just come off one side. Yeah. That would also work. And then to make it symmetrical, you could put uh, a hinge section on each on each end of the runway, just on opposite sides of the runway. So they hinge it <laughs> open opposite <laughs> side directions. And then on the ends of those, you put some more rotors with some lights on them just to make it look good. Oh, uh, that, that's to warn people when we're about to land. Yeah, yeah. Guys, FYI, we're, we're almost out of magnesium. Oh. I'm not uh, doing anything about it. There was magnesium back at the, the lake thing back here. Uh, we can't really reverse. I, I'm flying back with my character to go oh, grab right. magnesium. <laughs> and technically we can. It's going to perform worse in backwards than it does forwards, but technically we can. Or just put down another seat and drive the other direction. The seat's already there. Yep, magnesium right here. Cool. How deep is it? Uh, let me run over the top. 27 meters. Oh, so we could hit it with the plunge. You will oh. have to back up quite a ways. Okay, maybe we won't, won't then. We'll just, if you just grab a bit and, yeah. Uh, enemy signals. What? Uh, 12.4 kilometers away, I'm seeing a CLG landing pad. That doesn't sound good. No. Sounds uh, like we might have inbound aircraft soon. Sounds like jealousy to me. They've taken one look at our runway yep. and gone, mmm, I need me one of them. <laughs> I think it's exactly <laughs> what's happening. Uh, cool. Is it time to move forward again? You know, uh, do you want magnesium or not? Are the wheels ready or no? Oh yeah, wasted. Have you uh, repaired or replaced that wheel? Or the wheel it? has been replaced and more groups have been set up. I've done uh -huh. a bit of tweaking. Um, some of this is now going to come down to you learning how to drive it. Because <laughs> there is some learning necessary. Uh, the do important bit to remember is that uh, with my latency, nah. <laughs> I want him to drive. <laughs> um, the important bit is just to remember you want to be pulling whenever possible. Yeah, avoid sudden <laughs> stops for the avoid front Avoid sudden stops and, and if you if you see like the vehicle you're going downhill it's starting to gain speed regardless of what you're doing, you want to be throttling to pull the front ahead of the back. Yep. Alright. Um, so Dee's grabbing some magnesium. Should One we all just go grab a load time. and then we'll roll? Yeah, I was just grabbing some hydrogen. It's a straight down mine, so you need hydrogen to get it. Uh, I've just learned my lesson magnesium of going mine? into holes in the ground without bottles on me and blooming KSE with those stupid spiral tunnels we were doing. A number of times I've had to say, like, right, drop it down and I'll try and catch it before it disappears through the ground. Before trash removal nicks it. Well, actually, we really do need to get driving soon because it's getting dark. You don't want to drive at night? Uh, it's a lot easier to drive in daytime. True. Oh, and we're also out of cobalt. Do you have cobalt nearby? Yeah. Okay. And we should be finding stuff, like a lot of stuff as we go along as well. 
We already have a hole drilled for cobalt or no? I'm drilling towards some right now. Epic. Back here. Oh. oh no, where's out? Where's out? Up. Up is out. Huh? There it is. Oh, no. I think my dog You're wants out. You're going up, no, Epic. Just uh, FYI. Right. It's, did, did you wait, drill a I... new hole to get out? Uh, yeah, there, everybody was coming in weird. one way, so I'm making an exit the other way so we don't all pile on top of each other ah. and then do the uh, explodey bit. Get, uh, get Although cap I was drilling down for a oh, little bit. Oh, cap so. What? That antenna defeats the purpose of the fly-through runway. What? No, we need the radar dish for the plane so we know where they are. Yeah, but you put it in the wrong spot. No, it's fine. No, it's actually not. It defeats the point of the runway being able to rotate. Alright, hang on a sec. I gotta let my dog out. She's getting upset. No, that's just um, epic. Is it? Oh. Yep. Cobalt's still down below us. Alright, Cobalt's blue. What am I doing? A oh, madman! There the door go. is locked. Ah. So, the Capac was blocking the ability for this to be a fly through runway if we needed it. Oh, you, um... Okay, I was trying to figure out where it was. was yeah, he'd stuck it on the back end here. Of course, why not? That's exactly... That's clearly the best place. Yeah, yeah. Where it could even potentially glide into the front rover. I saw a gap in the market and I filled it. Uh... Saw a gap in the runway and he filled it. Alright. And I'm out of hydrogen, so I gotta hoof it back. And I just fell in the text fire hole. What are you talking about? The text fire hole. <laughs> the one you made when you, like, dropped half the rover off. Lies. Lies and slander. And slanderous lies. Okay, uh, let me know when everyone's back, because we'll go once you've all returned. Uh, Tex and I are not far away. Indeed, looks right like he's almost here. I need to use the, uh, I'm here, but I need to use the piston yep. drill to bring it down. Yep, yep, yep. Mostly I'm still just getting stone instead of cobalt. I've got 2k magnesium on me, which I think brings us to around... 5k magnesium that we've all gotten together. Ah! Oh, an explosion. <laughs> Someone's put it a zero day since last accident. LCD up. Perfect. Of course, it was necessary. Ah! Which way is up? This way. The wrong way. Me. Apparently so. He has a point. As much as it pains me to. Oh, are you a glazer too? Oh, it's now being suggested that I put Steve in the refinery for cobalt. I actually only glaze um, orange Oops. windows. Steve is already as refined as he's going to get. <laughs> it makes me a naval I orange glazer. I am aboard. Steve's just sitting there eating his camembert in peace while we all do all the work. He's a very yeah, fine, gentle stone. I did notice that somebody has now uh, eliminated the walkway from the drill to the rest of the rover, so I'll walk on the flashing on the side. Uh, Jump over the railing. We appear to have a polyp. A what? Polyp. Yeah, why, why, why is there an O2 generator on a rotor sticking out between the wheels underneath the front car? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, I never Dear. got rid of that. Wait, what? <laughs> I never got rid of that. I can't imagine that's going to help how it performs either. <laughs> Can I drive now? Is everybody back? Uh, no, please yeah, don't drive now. Let me There's get a pollen. One more load. One more load. Just do it. Is it okay to remove the pollen? Yeah, yeah. I was about to do it. I just got to get... I no, it's mission critical. In fact, we're not calling you the pollen. What? Talking about me? <laughs> You're not mission critical? I was using no. it to attach, uh, <laughs> to attach small grid drills so I could drill a hole big enough to make a large grid drill. 
Okay, if you get down I underneath. have <laughs> more cobalt, and Run to the I am dropping it off and ready to go. All right, we're rolling. Wheels on, script on, and break off. Ah, and I've been messy. Without me. Capac is not on. That's right. All critical things are on. He said it himself. I don't often hear Capac being very critical. My words. <laughs> This train is not going to be good. Make sure you go right in the middle to reduce the amount of wheels that are touching the ground at any one time. I was trying to turn. I was also trying not to scrape the, the giant drill rig on the side off. I can eject it at any time. Have we locked up the, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh. Runway? No. Oh, watch out! Oh. Yeah, um, the runway is starting to collide with the front of the... Yeah, I saw that. Turn it okay. sideways. It's it's attempting to establish dominance. <laughs> Tell it no. No. Bad trailer. Okay, okay. there we go. Wasted. We're going to need you to rotate the runway 180 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we probably should. Probably. Because it puts more of the weight towards the back as well, because it kind of needs, because yeah. we put so much weight at the front end of that. What's it called? I don't know. It's a, an advanced rotor. It's all right. I got a D. I'm on that grid. Okay. So I can see which one it is. Did you guys really put that on a rotor? Oh, no. I yeah. see big sparks. Yeah. Do we want to stop and twist this? Sure. Uh, I think we should do it while we're driving. Uh, twist it as fast as you can. Maybe we'll achieve... <laughs> level flight <laughs> secretly cracked the helicopter code <laughs> you just needed to put it on a trailer you just needed it on a trailer and it needed to have a shed on it <laughs> the secret the secret to making a helicopter is to have a hangar bay on one of the blades I mean this is the most top gear I've felt in a long time <laughs> yeah uh, is it worth rotor locking this uh, either that'll put the braking torque up. I'd go with lock. Those are good. So, if anyone needs to jettison the drill, uh, there is a piston named Piston Emergency Jettison. If you just detach the head of that, it'll it'll pop right off. We also oh, forgot to put any lights on the back grid, so Splitzy has no idea where his trailer is. This uh, is true. I put lights on it, and then Splitzy was like, Don't put lights on things! No, I halved the number of lights. You could still have finished welding them, but you didn't even finish your job you tried to do wrong. That's because I left you to prune them all to your satisfaction. I thought you'd <laughs> at least finish some of them. Uh-oh. No, we're fine. It wasn't a good time to run into a tree. For you, it's always a good time to run into a tree. How are we doing on ice? I don't know. Got 100% hydrogen. Well, we're purple. down to about 70,000 ice. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think see we're somebody's okay. gone for the black light option for the runway, which is an yeah. interesting technique. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who could have possibly done that. It was probably Splitzy while he was pruning yeah. stuff. At least I can add that to the store page. Mm -hmm. Welding, no, no. glazing, joining, and pruning. <laughs> Decorating. Okay, that is a lot more helpful than purple light. Nothing is more helpful than purple light. Purple light's actually really hard for me to see anything under. I mean, Just except for, you know, evidence and textual results. So what sort of range have we made it? From the start location, we are now almost 11 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, we're wow. Moving. Two weeks. Look, look at what's below us, guys. Yeah, I think this planet has an excessive amount of resources. <laughs> yeah, <it's> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about your vanilla spawning anymore. Yeah, I, I think... don't remember vanilla just giving you everything everywhere. <laughs> look at that. gold and silver under there. Yeah, I think um, this planet may have modded um, 
things and then because I made the planet small. Under the, under the water. Yeah. <laughs> it's there, there everywhere. Yeah, yep. love it. But weirdly, until we get more bits to the train, it's going to perform a bit weird and it'll get better the longer it gets. Up yep. to about what, four? No, up to about seven. And then the only reason it goes a bit weird beyond seven is because the wheel control script gets confused because the train is long enough that you can be you can turn far enough with the front in compared to the back that it reverses <laughs> all the back wheels because it thinks the back should be the front now. You know what I mean? Uh, you, yeah. You've like you've turned the turn sharp enough and it goes ah oh, right okay then they they should be going backwards now uh, and you get stuck. Now this is a view. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Just waiting for Captain to run time. out of his jack a jetpack while he's flying around doing stuff. Ah, uh, I'll be fine. I got a bunch of hydrogen bottles. Uh, Chad, if you remind me, I will post those in full res on Twitter. Uh, I believe this planet is called Elysium. Uh, well, yeah. I feel like we're going downhill. Uh, gravity still seems vertical. I know, it's just that I feel like we're going downhill. Yeah. Uh, that planet is really dominating the horizon now. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, we're going to throw you over to tell how how inhabitable it is. So we're going to have to rebuild the cat pack a -pole. I mean, we he seem to be headed directly for that... I'll say volcano. The the tumor? Yes. Oh, look, it's got a polyp, too. It, we're on the... It, it does have an unpleasantly organic look about it. Mm-hmm. At a boil notice. And then, uh, remind me, we're not allowed to build, like, ramps or bridges to the other planets, right? We just have to get yep. the rover over there? Yep. All right. I'm honestly not sure how that's going to play. Oh, there's a research base right in front of us. Right in front of us. Uh, do uh, I stick to the easy-to-drive surface and we just try and take out that base? Take out the base. Take out uh, the base. Hang on. If we're going to take out the base... We can keep moving now. I'm gonna add like ten more Whoa. turrets. What the heck just what? stopped us? Oh, I wasn't gonna drive this in range of the base. No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, you, you probably could. We've got enough mass on it. It's not gonna destroy everything. <laughs> everything. And then we'll have stuff to repair next episode. Think about it. Things to do. All right, I got a visual on the enemy base. Uh, as said earlier, the way to get things to do is just let Capac be the pilot. So I'm taking over driving then? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Mm. I think so. Alright, I see an antenna. Right. It appears to be on fire. Oh, I see flames. Yeah, it does. There is a chance. I see smoke. It could be a base that we'll be able to actually take on foot. Okay, so close to 850, and then we'll stop and move it on foot. Speaking yeah. which, how are we doing on ammo? Now that we've got magnesium. Have we refined it? I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? All right. Ben, prepare for Is someone ground controlling assault. the top turret? Whoa, whoa, gunfire! Incoming! Duh! Uh, what? Uh, we... we Gave it some hits. It's going down. Whatever yeah. that is. I oh, think I, that was a plane. I, th I saw a robot fall out of go it. Go on. Go on. I'm going on foot. Yeah, the robots was. have learned to fly. Uh, it seems. Yeah. Has anyone got eyes on the prize? Look at mm. Nope. 
Got him. Nice, nice. Uh, crashed around here somewhere, didn't it? Yeah. Assault is um, bi-directional. That's not the only person out here. Yeah. Someone else, other direction. East, north, east, east, northeast. Oh, here yeah. it is. Uh oh. This is this is a plane, all right. Yeah. Uh, I think we took out the cockpit block, though. Oh no, there's still one in there. Uh huh. Uh, there's a. <laughs> it's a hot rod turned into a plane. Ah. What the? It had a stupid license plate. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Wow! Oh, look at this engine on the front, though. <laughs> look at this vent. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. That's epic. No, is this a I, plane, uh, or do they just slap wings on a car? I mean, it's one way of doing it. It I looks mean, like it... it'll move. Uh, yeah, I'm about to test it. It works better if you've got a special helmet that gives you superpowers. Okay, are we ready for to turn off the Gatlings then, or no? Uh, are we going to do the quick takeover for this? Or do let's we have to let's get just it back try and fly first? it first. Okay, we well, oh, got a, here we got we go. a way behind us. I am just sitting in the back, by the way. Yeah, I'm just standing on the top. Here, uh, come I down feel here. Like I could improve the safer. wings a bit, but uh, well, that's all right. All right, it was Everybody flying. Ready? It was flying earlier. Oh, and away we go. We're off. Oh, oh, we're up. All okay, right, now, now you have to land it on the runway. Yeah. I have no idea where you guys are at. Well, if you're gonna bring it here, sounds like I should probably turn off. The yep. Stop shooting us. <laughs> Are we going down? No, I was just dodging. Like I said, maybe I should turn off the gat lane. <laughs> I didn't know where the base was. Closer. I couldn't tell. Okay, they're off. Has someone rotated the runway? No. Could you please rotate the runway so I don't crash what? into the truck? Um, okay. What? Are hey. you even going to be able to see the runway? Nope, it's got lights on it. What what would that rotor be called? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wasted are you uh, ready rotor, to watch this? Advanced rotor three. That's it. Don't oh, worry got, about it. I've got I've it. I've got it. I've got it. This perfectly. Is Delta five niner on transport runway approach. Please advise position of runway. Uh, two hundred and fifty degrees. Oh. Whoa. Just sort of kinda the right angle. <laughs> Please let me know if uh -oh. I fall out because I'm uh, a spectator watching. We're it. approaching firing range of the research base. Oh no, we're headed away. Oh boy. Oh you boy. know, those landing lights wave them off, would wave be them off, way wave more off. useful if they weren't purple. Yeah, could they be white, please? And bright? Uh, what are they called? Uh, corner, corner lights. lights? Okay, how about... Oh! I saw gunfire up in the hills to mm -hmm. the northeast. <laughs> there, did that get it? Oh, Somebody's I'm shooting us! We're taking, we're taking fire. Them. No! No! Oh, I'm losing altitude! What is shooting you? People! DFE. Robots! Where? A lot of them. I don't... I'm just trying to fly, Tex! I can't say things! Well, I'm your tail gunner. I got you. Be careful with those banks. You'll knock me right out. Oh, there was somebody here at the base, wasn't there? Oh, sneaky robot. Come on. No. That's oh, my body. God. Oh, Done. oh, okay then. Help me. There's, there's so many of them. Done. Yeah, I do like how Capac got off the plane. Yeah. I'm sure this won't go horribly wrong at all. Oh. Oh, boy. On this Ow. week, on things Ow. that happen no. in space. I'm getting grinded. Oh, uh, Splitsy. I missed the landing. runway, but I landed. Flawless landing. Yeah, yeah that's how you land. Um, <laughs> with with the 360 no scope to finish. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, that's was, was excellent. <laughs> okay, should we build a crane and get it back up on the airplane, or? Uh, let's go help Capac. I think he's dying out there. No, I took I took out both the robots. No help. 
Well hey, I was back. trying to do stuff. It was hard. Uh, yeah, apparently <laughs> so. Ow! Who just shot me? <laughs> All right. Uh, have we got brighter lights on the runway? We do now. Good. Okay, let's try yeah, this again. I, I, I I'm sure that away. was the problem. Oh, it helps. <laughs> I'm gonna stay on the wing. This is great. You're being a wing walker. Oh! Yeah. Oh! oh! Taking fire. Oh, I took off in the wrong direction. Yeah, you did. Oh! oh! We're going uh -oh. down. I don't know what I lost. What just exploded then? Uh, uh, I think the left side. Are you guys getting shot by the research base? Yes. Mm-hmm. Splitsy took off in the wrong way. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, we both. Oh, oh no, no, down I go. Down, down, down. Yep, down. Wait, did did you say that he went the wrong way up? He he did. Okay. Are you gonna try this again, Splitsy? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I got oh. enough lift. Man, that's uh. Ooh, that was an ugly takeoff. <laughs> You're flying mostly on engine power at this point, it looks like. Yeah, it feels like it too. Nah, this 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 doesn't work. <laughs> it's dead. Uh kamikaze into the into the observer base. Oh yeah, I'll do base. that. Okay. Uh What the I'm gonna bring my spectator cam over there so I can see Ooh. this happen. Oh, um, do you guys want to get ready for a run on that base and I'll run decoy with this thing? Uh. I suppose sure. we could do that. Because I can at least uh, take a few shots. Um. I still think you should probably just kamikaze into it. Yeah, but it'd be better if I kamikaze into it while you guys are shooting it. Yeah. Nice, Kevin. What did Kevin yeah, do? Let's just shoot at whatever's closest. I make a bridge so we can get to the uh, runway from the road. No, 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 I figured. That's why I said nice. Uh, you two good. gonna come in and attack this research I'm base? I'm on foot. I'm on foot. I'm running. Uh, oh. oh, are we going now? Yeah, yeah. Let's go now. That's what I heard. Ow. Right. Okay. I'm taking off. Or trying to. Oh! Okay, taking fire. Oh, jeez. That doesn't sound good. Yep, I lost all power. I'm dead. Oh, that worked well. Well, actually. Let's see if it's still shooting at that. I'm gonna run in. Nope. <laughs> Ow! What the? Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I just got instantly wiped out. Insta give. Yep. Well, now we have to kill it because our bodies are all squishy by him. No, no, oh, God. Ah, those are good noises. So, I got my stuff back. But because the window closed, I didn't need to hit escape. But because I hit escape, it brought up the menu, and so I stayed there long enough that I then got shot. It's just rude. Well, I got my stuff. Are we attacking head-on with the giant rover of doom, or are we going around? The boats? Because <laughs> um... we, we can throw some armor plate on the front of this bad boy. And these are vanilla weapons, right? They are. Decoys. I can um, see the turrets I can, on it. I can see the entertainment value of it, but leaving our taking our only rover. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of not inclined two to. two rovers. If the front gets broken, we still have another. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tuckbone. Um, yeah, no. No. I'm, I'm, I'm voting. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm I'm call against me, taking out one rotor. Okay, there, there are two turrets left. Oh, did you get one? I think one of them's down. Yeah. I mean, if we do that, we need somebody on the on the Gatlin. Now, question: Do the projectiles oh. still go to a thousand meters, or do they stop at eight hundred? 
Uh, they yeah, go I a little they, bit I past 800, but... Uh, uh, the spray is so wide. I don't think you're going to do any... Are you getting hit indicators? No, I don't think I'm hitting them. Yeah. Okay, there's one on the top in the middle. Um, Capac, have you been flying in there? Yeah. You know that's against our rules, right? I'm trying to get my body back. <laughs> oh yeah, to get your body back, but not to attack. <laughs> uh, Splitsy, I think I found another great, uh, great screenshot for this. I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs> okay. It's kind of cool. Cool view. Yeah. Ow. Nope. Definitely out of range. I mean, we could inch forward and just plan on blitzing those turrets. Well, I mean, if we inch forward just into range, because they're interiors, right? How quickly could we build a small grid Ow. bulldozer? Er, they're interior or, turrets. They're not heavy. If they're if they're interior turrets, then like we have superior firepower already. I mean, Put a couple of decoys by... on the front of our rover, surrounded right. by hang on, hang on, thick armor. Go forward, and then we'll just splat them with the with the turrets. I'm gonna let chat decide. Why does my jetpack start with the dampeners off? The They're top? gonna tell us to turn our our turrets off and just drive over it. So. Please. My stuff's gonna no. despawn. Repairs bad. <laughs> All right. Let's well, see. We've got about we've got about thirty minutes until we hit the four hour mark. Yep, I know. That's why I'm just letting chat decide this, and then we'll either build a little quick bulldozer that we can push in, or we'll go in. I mean, we can we can armor up the front of the rover. I'm not against that. <laughs> I like. I think some armor decoys would be a good idea, either way. Uh, yeah, probably. I give up. My stuff is gone. Yeah, don't worry about your stuff, Kafak. You can make more. I like my stuff. We've got heat. We've got easy access to a lot of resources. Precisely for this situation. Uh, it is currently 74%. So with 242 votes, 74% of voting for Dewey. Well, then let's I, all get on it for it, and... Uh, what does so, Dewey mean? <laughs> uh, drive well, this well rover in. To Let me get the some enemies. decoys on first. Yeah, we could... Um, <laughs> we could slap one on your drill rig. <laughs> uh, well, I think we want it on the main grid, with how decoys work. Uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a front. decoy narwhal, like, right here. And then we'll put the decoy and then several layers of armor in front of it, so it takes a little bit to kill it. I feel like we're now going against the spirit of do it. Uh, okay. Ooh. Well, then charge in. I don't care. Whatever. Let's do it. Ooh. Text, Full text power. them fighting words. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Bring it. What the welder? Actually, did almost build a decoy out there. Let's build a decoy. I don't care. <laughs> I'm flip flopping. I'm on. I'm on chat side. Fuel low. All right, all right. You're on chat side. You made a point. Faint of heart never won maiden's heart. Uh. Yep. Fair point. Blueprint it first, just in case we have a catastrophic series wiping. Event. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I don't think so either, but uh, is everybody pretty much ready? Oh, yeah. I'm uh, oh, so we're not doing the decoy? No, no, no. I was including you getting that decoy built as part oh, okay. of Okay, yeah, I'm still working on it. Just as long as it's it's finished and there's a bit of armor in take, front of it. I'm going to take the turret first, and then I'll take the radio right after that so I can call in any drones. So I just realized I hadn't added a mod that I should have on here. We don't have, nope. like, decoy cap -axe. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a tragedy. Alrighty. Well, the handbrakes let's are off. Do you need decoy cap when you've got the real one? That's true. 
It, it's really funny watching the real one deal with the fake ones. He gets jealous. All right, we're going in. We're taking fire. Oh, oh power. Oh god. Come, don't maneuver too much. I have to a bit so I can get around the plane car. I fell off the rover. It was terrifying. Right turrets blow. down. Again. Left turret's down. It's firing at the uh, some the... Oh, my poor body. It's not the sub grid it's firing at. It was firing at the turret over that side. Really? Why does it keep shooting me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, uh, I think we're down. I think we're good. Alright. Yep. And uh, the antenna, I think, is separated. Yep, it is. Okay. Moving in. Well, the antenna's right. not relevant. Just heads up. I don't know if I'd describe this as good. Alright, I'm on the gun still. Uh, this, this is a fair amount of damage back here. Wait. We lost two large Gatling turrets to this thing? Yep. Yeah, we probably should uh, put the in interior decoys. turrets, uh, the interior turret DPS is actually pretty close to the Gatling turret DPS. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, that worked. Right, it's revenge I'm... time. It never once fired at the decoy. I love it. Thank you, Space Engineers, for this. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think we might no, need to lose that decoy now, dear. Yeah. Okay, we'll the get our repair materials like from three times. We'll get our repair materials from the base, it'll be fine. Is there anything in this base? What does the dead do? Kill him! Ah, uh, come back. Come over here. What? Get up there. What? Read what's in the dude's Read. backpack. What, in the backpack? Smell, smell the flowers. Power backpack. kit? Smell the flowers. Oh, I see. <laughs> He has his guidebook and his towel. Hmm. That sounds he's, like a really ho real hopey crude. Yep, he's well prepared. I wonder if Apparently he's got some, not, he's dead. He might have some tea around here. Oh. There is a uh, T1 welder in here. On access. Yep. Uh, you think we can fix that flying rover or no? Nah. Oh no, it's toast. <laughs> nah. We'll 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 make uh, our flying rovers it next week. I might even uh, have some plans to bring in some seasoned pilots or a seasoned pilot. Hmm. Depends whether he's available or not. Fuel critical. And how many extra parts we have. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I think somebody may have fixed the Gatling turret. I did. I'm on Those the center bullets one. Came you can very turn the close other ones to my off. face. I've turned the I've turned them both off, and I am saying that clearly for everybody to know that left and right turrets are off. Roger that. We're not gonna forget that by next week. <laughs> nope. Not at all. The chat will remind us. No, they won't. They want to see us fail. Yes, chat, well, you, you have funny. it right. I might have convinced Shaq to join us. By How tempting him that? with aeroplanes. Sounds like we're going to need more parts. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need a bigger runway. <laughs> Ooh. What is this contraption? What contraption? You got it's uh, this ATC on top of the hangar. Ow! What the? <laughs> the turret just murdered me. Well, <laughs> I see the turret has good taste. Yep, that was something. It turned just as I was flying past it, and it nailed me. Oh, you need a uh... need one of these. Was just thinking, 
we keep getting like rumbled and attacked and people we can't see anything well yeah now that's a simple, the simple solution mm -hmm. we need to see that way now we can see that way um <laughs> there we go how's how's uh you're adding a remote yeah remote somewhere i don't know why i can't we'll like do, putting I an antenna on it it was halfway through. I think it's just to look good. What do you mean you don't know why I'm putting an antenna on it? To make it look cool. Okay, fair enough. I do like the spotlight down onto the runway, though. Thank you. These are... More lights equals more better. Ah! Make them purple. Ow. <laughs> oh, right. All my hydrogen bubbles are gone. He did not, he did not so make many. more purple lights. Uh, is, this, is this drill meant to be drilling and not just spinning in the air no they're all just meant to be not doing anything uh where are we at on the base am i am i able to release this gun without it shooting the heck out of something uh shall i mosey us on forward and then we can turn everything back on but right, somebody let me back on <laughs> sure there's a that button. antenna's got some good stuff in it though oh is that what back this is? right here on the bottom yeah push that uh is anyone going to be devastatingly upset if I move? Yes, I'm on the ground. Capax or getting on. So everyone's good? good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you can drive oh, if what you want. Oh. Okay, I need to stop walking on the piston. I mean, to be fair, Capac, it might be quicker to walk. <laughs> Sometimes. There is there is another uh, interior turret over there, by the way, that's still left on that base. What? Really? It's unpowered. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, there is too. It is unpowered. I'm taking its ammo. Okay. Uh oh. Inventory. Just die again, Kamak. Worse. <laughs> you ran out of hydrogen again? Oh, I didn't even get any more back. <laughs> so, I tr because the ramp from the drill elevator has been removed, I tried to jump over to the stairs and I fell down, and now I'm in the <gasps> hole that was dug oh. by the drill. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll fix this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, should we just fill it up with rock? Aaron, come, no, come, yeah, come back, come back, come back, come back, stop, 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 stop. Hey, look up. There you go. I was hoping he was going to be too frustrated to get out of the hole. I just sent the drill back down. <laughs> yeah, the only reason that drill is just constantly running is so we can drop it when people are out, because it has to drill a hole to work. Uh, yeah. And it actually kind of works better as a result of that, I think. Alright, I'm off the, uh, I'm off the grill, or the, the Gatlin. Alright, I am turning off the parking brakes, and we are rolling out. Alright. Um, does someone want to turn, someone want to turn that rotor that DE's drill is <laughs> on, or put some breaking talk on it? Uh, it's damaged. Oh. Uh, breaking talk, you might still be able to turn on with, um... One sec. Oh, wait, uh, why? That's not good. I thought the turret was shooting me. No, it's shooting... Well, it almost shut the runway. Hang on. Alright, hang on a second. Gatling turret, uh, off. All the turrets are off. Okay. I'm flying through trees. I'm probably gonna die. What was it shooting at? They're shooting at the remains of that base. Yeah, I'm just turret trying to get us clear on. of it. Or, sorry, not turret. The rotor is back together. Yay! Forward! Forward ho! Where's that really green glowing thing that doesn't look healthy at all? So... We are now almost 17 and a half kilometers from our start location. Also, turrets can be turned back on. No, that's just what they'll expect. 
Yeah, leaving the turrets off has the element of surprise. The guns, they've stopped. So the guns on? Yeah, they're on. Okay. I just placed a block and... Do I need to the pull air. in the Gatling Oof. so that I'm getting whacked off by... Uh... Uh, oh. No, they, they're actually pretty good for destroying the trees because sub grids are uh, better at destroying trees than the main grid. Oh, okay. Splitsy is the expert here. Hey, I know about killing trees. That's one thing I do. Um, I reckon it might be a good point to wrap this up here. We've built our runway. Wasted's built some good landing lights and tax has as well. D tried to make them purple. I successfully made them purple, they just didn't stay that way. <laughs> and I reckon we'll be good to go for the start of next stream for us all to build planes. Or at least I'm sure try. Yeah. Great. Uh, Capic, you'll be happy to know that there is now a ramp from the elevator to the main walkway of the grid. Hooray! That, that seemed very uncertain there, Wasted. What's your concern? <laughs> uh, I'm still not entirely sold on the taking off and landing from this thing yet, mm. but we'll see. I think during the day we'll be fine, but yes, at night is nightmarishly difficult. Like, incredibly horrendously difficult, especially uh, with something that had as little lift as what I was flying. It had more lift to begin with, and then <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are a few holes few holes in the plan. Yeah, got a bit more drag added to it. Uh, but I, I, I'd be willing to give it a go with a light plane at the start of next time, and if I fail, then um, leave the floor open for someone else to design a different runway. I will almost certainly just work on the next trailer. Okay, fair enough. But you will have an additional runway. But yeah, we, we we very oh, quickly dear. run into certain issues. Like, okay, if that's the runway, what happens when... Okay, person number one has now landed. What does person two do? He's still in the air, and now there's someone parked on the runway. <laughs> person, person two is the one that's smart enough to wait for person one to land first. What if it's acid raining? Then they mm, get real person... cozy in the hangar. Wait. So if this trailer works, does that mean we need, like, an extra trailer with every runway set up this way so we each have our own? <laughs> I guess If so. I get, if I I get a trailer thinking, with the runway... Sorry, go ahead. I was thinking of suggesting earlier today as the various discussions and disagreements over how it should be built went together. I was just like, all right, everyone just get your own trailer and do what you want on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to suggest... Just line them all up. Right? That's Capex trailer. It looks like a mess. And it's dressed up like a sombrero. And that's Blitzy's trailer. It's got pistons all over it. You know, you know what? I'm not. I'm not against that idea. <laughs> De's trailer is purple. <laughs> yeah, you can tell De's trailer because you can't look that direction without getting blinded. <laughs> it's a very pleasant purple that I paint everything. Mm. I will admit that the uh, the disco cheap bathroom tile is is a bit <laughs> hard to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, but, that's the part I like. But the shade, the shade is good. It's a good shade. I'm just say, Capac's on board with your designing. Oh yeah, Capac has a wonderfully creative mind. I don't know. I, I prefer my purple to have a little bit more blue in it. <laughs> oh, that, this is a pretty blue purple, my friend. There's, there was there was a shade of um, way back in the day. There was a Can we, one uh, of the Warhammer paints was uh, called nauseating blue can we go uh can we go with an eggplant well we can continue discussing paint shades next week i guess <laughs> yeah paint stream <laughs> painting and yeah we may have an extra pilot we may not we'll see we'll see who shows up on time probably not capac um, hey. thanks capac wasted de tex for coming along again i hope we all had fun i know i did always fun oh yeah Thanks, chat. And we will see you all next week. Uh, for those of you who want to continue watching stuff, I'm assuming that Wasted is continuing to stream over on yeah. Twitch. His Sunday link is in the stream. description. Yeah? What you doing? Um, I'm 
probably going to try and see whether or not I can launch a plane by spinning a platform around really, really fast. <laughs> uh, so there you and go. And then, then work on a folding runway. <laughs> this is like this. This sounds like it's going to go well. Um, Capac and I'll be back for some more streams tomorrow. D, I'm sure you've got something coming up. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing, uh, every Friday we do our Valheim stream, but uh, probably tomorrow or Tuesday I will also be space engineering some shenanigans if we're all going to do our own show. Speaking of which, I need to take a blueprint of this. <laughs> so there's all that, and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Goodbye. Yes, everybody. Thanks for coming. Y'all come back.